Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll, to one o'clock today. In fact, actually, um, we're going to keep your company even longer today. Uh, John Scott, the, the Sewing Street family, I mean, are, are spreading themselves all over the Jamporia group at the moment because John Scott is on Jewelry Maker this afternoon as well. Uh, so I know that everybody's spending time at home, we're all in. So if you are doing some sewing today, if you are doing some crafting, or if you're just having a day chilling on the sofa because it's snowy outside, um, then we've got you sorted until five o'clock today. So you don't need to worry. Just have us on, whether it's in the background or whether you want to have a, a lovely chat with myself. Rebecca Reed's going to be joining me later. I've got Jules, my youth here. And then, as I say, John's going to be on Jewelry Maker this afternoon. So it's going to be a really, really lovely day for all crafters. Um, now, it means that we want everybody to open their order nice and early. Now you can, of course, shop across Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. And we've got so much for you to look out for today. We've got loads and loads of products. We've got um, a new Love From Beth pattern, which is actually um, already on pre-order. We've got a brand new fabric collection. We've got loads coming up already on pre-order. We'll go through the menu in a minute though. We'll go through the menu in a bit. We'll do the early bed first and then we'll have a look on the menu. So let's start with one of our Hayley, head of TV, Hayley Marshall say her favourite early bird specials. It's one of mine too, and in fact, actually, I've been doing a bit of a sort through, as we all have, through every cupboard and every drawer, and I found some of these transfer sheets, and they are absolutely brilliant. If you want to personalise and put photographs onto tote bags, onto t-shirts, onto things on the centre of a quilt maybe, even making a memory quilt or a wall hanging, and the, uh, this would be absolutely brilliant. Six pounds ninety nine for your transfer sheet. So you have three, three of your transfer sheets. So you print them off. Basically, you print off what photograph you want onto a, uh, from your normal inkjet, normal printer, your home printer. You print it on onto one of these sheets. And then you can choose if you want to paint it or colour it in. If I turn it over, I can show you a bit closer on here. There's loads of instructions on the back. Um, so basically, it's a transfer. Uh, it, it is a transfer. You can transfer your, your photographs or your pictures onto, um, onto cotton, which is absolutely brilliant. And it means then it's colour fast. You can wash it at 30 degrees and it will stay exactly where it is. It's only been on there once before and it was super, super popular. A special price today. You get three sheets at just £6.99. We've honoured the early bird price. You can buy multiples. Maybe if you want to just give it a go, three sheets is a great way to try it out. And they don't need to be, you know, that's full A4 size. So you could just do smaller pictures and, and fit quite a few in there. Uh, so what you do, print the design onto a transfer sheet using your inkjet normal home printer. And then paint with fabric paint or you can draw on them with your textile markers. In fact, you know, a lot of people, a lot of my friends at the moment are homeschooling and they're trying to think of new things to do, different things to do. And I know they've been setting lots of different work. I know, uh, yeah, I'm making so much banana bread. I've never made bread ever. And I've made banana bread. The amount of times I've made banana bread in the last 12 months. Cats made cornflake cakes today. Um, so then uh, you cut it to the desired size. You then separate the transfer sheet from the backing paper and place the design face up onto your fabric. It's got all lots of instructions here. And then it says here to place uh, a piece of baking powder over the design when fixing with an iron. So then you just iron it on. Um, did I say baking powder? Baking paper. <laughs> I'm thinking of banana bread now. Uh, use a cotton setting with your iron and keep your iron moving for approximately one minute uh, and, and press firmly. And then it means that you turn it inside out and you can wash it at 30 degrees, which is absolutely brilliant. Only problem today uh, is that we don't have the stock that we had last time. Uh, last time we had hundreds and hundreds uh, and they all sold out. So if you do want this, it's the second time it's ever been an early bird back at that special price. We've honoured that 6 99 price. Uh, do make the most of it. Lots of people checking out and buying multiples. How is everybody today? Have you got lots of snow where you are? Trust me, you're going to want to get involved early today because we've got oh, loads going on. We've got a great fabric collection and you know I mentioned it yesterday. Oh my word, it's absolutely amazing. We've just shown it to Rebecca Reed. She's here. 
she's going to be joining me for um, for Yarn Lane. Um, we've also got lovely, lovely storage basket, which is brand new pattern. Um, you're only going to pay one post in packaging all day, so open your order nice and early. Come say hello to me on Facebook Live. Come say hello. I'm on the uh, the Facebook, so let me know. Is it snowing where you are? It was snowing here today. We all had lots of snow. We all got here safely. It, it wasn't too bad on the main roads. I ended up taking a main road instead, and it was it was fine. It was fine. But please do um, be careful if you are going out about today because it's very icy and cold. Six pounds ninety nine for your early bird special today. So as I said, there's loads and loads and loads going on. Well did everybody who's already checked out. If you haven't already, there's still time to do it. Um, shall we what what? What were you going to say? Oh, brilliant! Oh, I love that. Loads of people are buying threes and fours. Um, it's absolutely worth it. You do get three sheets in this packet. If it's no, if you know this is something that you've used before, or you want to use, use to, uh, you want to use again, then this is a perfect way of stocking up. It's very clever, isn't it? It's going to be great for tote bags or quilts or t-shirts. Cat loves it when she gets her, her face printed onto a birthday cake <laughs> in the supermarket. Just any occasion. But I think that'd be lovely. Imagine one of your banners. A cat, the Wilcox family, I should say, have got the most amazing happy birthday banner, which has been in the family since about 2000s. Uh, and you could put a photograph on, couldn't you? That, that's interchangeable for whoever's birthday it is. That's a really good idea. Um, morning, everybody. Hi, Mo, Kim, Carol, Jane, Pauline. Um, Hayley, there's loads of people watching this morning. Um, snowing today. No snow in Stockbridge. No snow. Ah, in fact, I did look, at, when I saw it on the weather forecast yesterday, it did look very sort of Midlands based that we were getting snow. Apparently the cold airs are coming in from Greenland. More weather updates later. More weather updates later. Um, if it is in your basket, just be aware it is very limited. Half the stock has already gone. Half the stock has already gone. Oh, morning, Vix. It's snowing in Shropshire. Morning, you're just snowing in Leeds. That's from Ruth. Good morning. Hayley said no snow in London. Oh, amazing. I really want, um, she says, I really wanted to for my baby who is one next week. Um, so they can see the snow for the first time. Oh, how exciting. Fingers crossed it rains for you in London. Um, Jules Mayu, she lives in Wimbledon and she's on later and I said how was your journey up? She says there was no snow in Wimbledon but when it got to about Oxford there was snow so it might it might travel down to you. Uh, Jean said morning, loads of snow in Durham's, oh no, cars are stuck everywhere. Stay in, stay in, honestly, stay safe. If you do have to go out please be really careful, please be really safe but also we have got the best Gemporia Craft lineup today. Um, not only are we taking you through till one o'clock, as I say, John Scott's on jewelry maker this afternoon, so it's going to be amazing. Uh, today's show, as I say, Jules is going to be joining me in the next hour, but have a look at what we've got coming up. Eight o'clock, the right tools for the job. So we do want to make sure that everybody's kitted out with all of the, the right tools. Um, at nine o'clock, we've got the rainbow basket, which is the sewing basket, which um, I was just showing you. It's lovely and it's really sturdy because it's in denim. It's brilliant, isn't it? Um, I love these storage boxes, especially, especially as we're, um, you know, we're all talking about getting a bit organized at the moment. Being, you know, at home, it, it's nice to be able to, to get a bit organized. That's lovely, I like that. Um, okay, so that's coming up at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock we've got, oh my word, I think that this is my favourite fabric collection that we've ever launched at Sewing Street. I think this is potentially one of, if not my favourite. Look at all of these colours. It is absolutely amazing. It's stunning. The scales of print, the colours, the, the quality of the cotton we've got now. We're a bit worried about the quantities of these, if I'm honest, because um, we've got a mega bundle and we've got them by the half metre. But if you do want the whole shebang, which I know so many of you do, you get half a metre of everything. In fact, you get half a metre for free and it's on split pay. I'll show you how you can get involved on pre-order uh, pre 
after we've done the rest of the menu, but that is an amazing collection not to be missed at 10 o'clock. We'll have a closer look at all of those. Um, at 11 o'clock, oh, look at it. Look at it, the lion pouch. Oh, I've seen so many people messaging on Facebook about it. It's so cute, isn't it? This is brilliant. Maybe if you're homeschooling at the moment, this would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Cheer someone up, make lovely pencil cases. They're great fun, really, really good fun. We've got some lovely kits as well. It's Jules Mayuse Design, and we'll be going through it with her at 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock, we've got Yarn Lane. Um, Rebecca Reed's going to be joining us at, um, at, oh, and in fact, if you love knitting and crochet, do make sure you stay with us for Yarn Lane because we've got award-winning yarn coming up in that show. Um, we've got some great kits, we've got some beautiful uh, patterns, we've got, of course, Rebecca Reed here. So we'll be finding out what 2021 has in store for Yarn Lane. Um, so we're really excited about that. Now, if you do, what was that, sorry? Oh yeah, if you do want to pre-order the, the uh, fabric collection or any of the patterns, we've got a brand new pattern in today by Beth. If you do want to, to get involved, then it's studio, uh, of course, sewingstreets.com. Click watch live. If you then scroll down, you'll see the early bird special is there. You can still add that to your order at the moment. Everything from this hour, it, well, it's all in order. So everything this hour is at the start. Machines. Oh my word, honestly, the machines are really exciting today. The Lumina lights, we've got loads. Just making sure everybody's kitted out in their craft room this first hour. Then, there is, there's the, um, the baskets. And then there's a solstice fabric just randomly there. Um, that's just giving you a little sneak peek. And then, there is the solstice range. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's brand new. Right, I suggest you go to the web and have a look through these now because some of these are extremely limited by the half meter. We've put together as many bundles as we possibly can. So um, yeah, that's very, 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 very exciting. Um, and yeah, we've got loads and loads coming up in today's show. Including, there it is, the Mega Bundle with half a metre for free. Uh, the Solstice Fabric Bundle. The colours are amazing. You will love it. Absolutely love it. So stay tuned. Um, that's going to be coming up. So should we start, start with the right tools for the job? We're talking about this week, new year, new hobbies, new crafting. Um, and we want to make sure that everybody's kitted out with the right things. Is Ryan watching? Hi, our Ryan. Hi, our Ryan. Honestly, we have so many people who've got the same names here, haven't we? But yeah, it gets very confusing. Although, Ryan, we've got one Ryan here, haven't we? Emma's boyfriend's Ryan as well. Gets confusing, gets confusing. But morning, Ryan, morning. Right, where do we start? Yes, 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 yes. Every single time we do any toy making, I'll always ask if these are in stock and they never are. Um, when we first started Sewing Street back last February, uh, there's lots of us have worked in the industry for the last, you know, well, for some people, have, Rebecca have reached, worked in the industry for years and years, and obviously, you know, Debbie Shaw, John Scott. There's loads of our team who have been industry experts for a, a number of years. But um, those of you that did know us when we were sewing quarter, any of the faces that you see on Sewing Street, um, when we first started Sewing Street, we all said, right, what are the products that we really, really want to make sure that we bring over to here? Um, and one of my top of the list was hemostats. And it's a medical tool, really, which us as crafters have adopted. So we bought these back on the 27th of December. Cara was beside herself with excitement because she absolutely loves these. I think it was Cara that might have introduced me to them, actually. They look like a pair of scissors, don't they? They're not. So they clip into place, they clamp into place like that. So if you're stuffing, they're not sharp. They're actually, they actually have little teeth. Um, they actually have like tiny little sort of um, 
grooves which are going to be able to grip any of your your toy filling your needles your pins that i know they use a lot with uh, with overlockers or, or, or sewing machines to be able to grip your needles as i say to pull them out to, so you're not getting your hands anywhere near but if you do want to get uh, any of your toy stuffing into really hard to reach areas they're not pointed at the end so you can do all of your stuffing is that what cara was doing with these yeah, they're absolutely perfect. £8.99. They are absolutely amazing and I can't recommend them enough. Anybody who does do any toy stuffing, uh, if, you are, if you are making toys or any bags or cushions or anything like that and you do want to get right into those seams, you can use it as a bit of a dobber as well as a needle gripper, a needle puller or, um, or, or uh, using them for, for just making sure you've got lovely, really, really lovely seams as well. £8.99. £8.99. Um, who is this, sorry? Hi, Wilma. Thanks for your message. Wilma, the one that you could see the picture of, the really bright colours, we don't have those colours today. Um, if you want to do it in your own fabrics or if you've got any bright fabrics or if you want to have a look through the website and make up your own sort of bundle, what I would do is I would just get the pattern on its own. It is available on its own. It's called the Rainbow basket sewing pattern it's six pound fifty on its own you can pre-order it now all of the colorways that we have the ones that that you can see on the website the pastel pink the misty blue and the british design roll which is the floral that we've got in the studio today um, but we don't have the bright colors that you can see on the website you can make up your own bundle or use your own stash though if you want to get the pattern on its own so just to clarify, thanks for your message though. The pattern, just so you know, half the stock's already gone. Oh my word. Amazing, brand new pattern in today. Right, so your hemostats or needle grippers, quilting needle grippers at just eight pounds and 99 pence. They do lock at the top, which is really useful indeed. So they lock, they're completely lock. What do you mean? When you push a, ne a needle through, if you go through like quite a, a thick fabric, you're pushing the needle through, ah, it goes into your thumb. Yeah, I know what Kat was like. Last year, um, through lockdown back in April last year, she was doing lots of English paper piecing and her hands were in ruins. So, you know, tools like this are gonna be really, really good. Um, are really, really, really good for your hands to save your hands, aren't they? Uh, just eight pounds and 99 pence back in stock uh, for now. Back in stock for now. Oh, I will hope so, Wilma. Thank you. Okay. I hope you managed to get the pattern. Moving on up, we're moving on up. Something else that I've used a lot and I'm not ashamed to say it is a seam ripper. And sometimes I hate the seam ripper and sometimes, you know what, it's my best friend. It's really, really useful to have. Do you know, lots of us will get seam rippers in with our sewing machines or you, you get them sometimes that are in little crackers. But what I love about this, bearing in mind it's still less than three pounds, it's got a really, really comfortable handle. Do you know who we need to get? Um, we need to get one for Janice. I was watching Janice the other day and she said that she'd had hers for about 20 years and it was really blunt. So, I mean, at three pounds, if you are thinking, do you know what, I'm struggling to, to, to rip my seams or, you know, to, to, to uh, undo any stitches that I've made a mistake with, this is perfect. Two pounds, 99, and it is a really lovely soft grip handle and a big handle. Quite often they can be small little fiddly things. Don't get me wrong, you know how much I love the bridge water stitch remover. But sometimes if you're doing a bargello and you do just want to sit in front of the television and do your unpicking, or if you do make small mistakes, um, then it's very handy, very, very handy to have. It's not something we normally bring to air if I'm being brutally honest, because it is only, it's three pounds. Um, it's not worth the air time of us bringing it on television. Air time is expensive. But when we're talking about the right tools for the job, it is an essential. It is an essential. Two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Thank you for all of your messages. Did you say there's a, a message on Facebook? Oh, I can't see it. Hang on, Jill. 
I'm going to just open the, the page again. Um, how is everybody today? Come and say hello. Oh, hi, Jill. Jill said, oh, she says, hi, Vicky. I love your enthusiasm. Um, and now hearing you talk about SQ, I remember the first time you started and how, uh, now how much you know and how much confidence you've grown. Honestly, it's crazy. And I was saying this to, um, we're talking to Emma yesterday. Emma's uh, our new director here. And um, I, she's lovely, by the way. We will try and get her on air today. We said we'd get her on air yesterday and she dodged it. So, yeah, we could get her on air today. Um, but we were saying to her, it, it is strange how you all, almost sort of automatically just learn so, so much. And you'll find at home that if you're a dressmaker, you probably know so much about quilting and bag making that you didn't even realise, you don't even realise, you know, until somebody asks you a question. So yeah, it is, it is an amazing community. It's thanks to you guys in the community and everybody messaging in that we've all, that we've all learnt so much together, haven't we? Right, I think Kat's moving on, she's taking the graphics out. Um, let's go on to freeze paper. It's back in stock, back in stock. This I think is great because it is an American product. So normally you generally have to pay quite a hefty P&P &P if you want to ship it from America. Today, it's our, it's our postage and packaging. It's our postage and packaging. Um, so you'll only pay one P&P all day long. This is Reynolds Kitchen freezer paper. Now, and lots of people know this as something to, to wrap your meat, freeze your meat with, uh, but actually, it's brilliant for crafters. It is brilliant for crafters. So it is shiny on one side, and matte on the other. And what's fantastic about it for crafting, I mean, there's so many different ways of using it. I keep hearing more and more every single time we use freeze paper, someone messages in and say, oh, I use it for this, I use it for this, I use it for this. But what I love about it is that you can actually iron this onto your fabric. So this shiny start side will stick to your fabric without leaving any sort of sticky residue. It's not sticky, but if you're doing templates for quilting for example if you want to do some beautiful heart quilting and make it look like it's been long on quilted you could make yourself some templates and stitch around them uh, and peel them off and then stick them back on there's so many different ways for applique it's absolutely brilliant um crafters love 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 freezer paper in fact i started having a bit of a look on pinterest don't quote me on this but there was something stupid like 80 odd ways of using freezer paper in crafts it's brilliant and it's only six pound 49 i feel like it was more than that in the past has it always been 6.49 or is that me thinking that it was about 8.99 before i don't know um you get how many meters it's all it's actually <laughs> 12 meters i'm pleased that it's we've um we've actually done the calculation because here it says something stupid like 4.64 meters squared I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I'm pleased that we've done the um, we've done the maths. Six pounds forty nine for twelve meters of freezer paper. Yeah, message in. This is what I just say, Cat. That, that every single time, Cat says that like the same. She says we message in and let me know how you use it because every single time we show it, people come up with different ways of using it. It's really, really handy indeed. Something tells us something tells us something new. Everyone tells us something new every day. So it says here for arts and crafts, even if you're using it as uh, protection for your for your surface to do, you know, colouring and drawing and things like that. Oh morning hen, morning hen. Spill the beans. What you been up to? What you been up to? What you been up to? Um, six pounds forty nine. If you're using any of our colouring in panels just to protect your surface. I mean, it's so affordable. What do you mean? Kat just said, what's happened to newspapers? She said, I went to paint something the other day and I used to put a newspaper down. Yeah, it is true. I was going to do some wrapping. I was going to do some wrapping up of um, our house before we, uh, when we were moving. Now we're not moving. But I was wrapping up all our glassware. I was like, oh, just always do this with um, newspaper. Don't have any newspaper. Um, just six pound forty nine for your freezer paper, and as uh, I remind you, it is in our one postage and packaging. Just six pounds forty nine with free with with one p and p all day long. Lots of people buy multiples. Oh my word! Of course, right, Lillian. 
happy birthday, happy 16th birthday. Oh, sweet 16, Lillian. How exciting. And that is a message from, it's Janet, your great auntie. Is that right? Great auntie Janet. Oh, thank you so, so much for your message. Happy birthday. And it's snowing. I wonder if it's snowing where you are, Lillian. No, not snowing in Bristol. No snow in Bristol. At this, I heard on the radio this morning that some places have got to minus nine this morning. So please, please, please be careful. It's very cold out there. Uh, it doesn't feel as cold as yesterday. Yesterday was glittery icy. It was really pretty. Whereas here we did have snow, but um, no ice. Uh, right, so that's your freezer paper. Loads of people multiplying. Okay, now, this will be coming up later with Jules, actually. We'll, we'll see it in action with Jules. But H640 is something that, again, sells like hotcakes. It comes in and disappears. It's a fusible fleece that is an official product from Visaline. And it gives your projects such beautiful loft without being too rigid so it just gives it lovely soft fluffy feel the the one side of it is a fleece and the reverse of it is little adhesive dots so you're going to be able to just iron that straight onto your fabric if you're doing things like free motion or if you're doing cushions if you're doing storage boxes if you're doing in fact our storage tub that we've got coming up in the next hour um we've used H640. So if you imagine if we didn't use that interfacing, it'd probably just be all flat and lifeless. Whereas actually having the H640, it's not as, um, it, you know how the bosal yesterday, it's not as foamy as the bosal. It's lovely to sew through, really, really lovely to sew through. You can sew through it a dream with your, with your sewing machine without any problem. It's not bulky, um, but it is going to give it lovely structure. It's lovely and soft. So if you are quilting, if you're doing free motion or any cushions that you just want to give it a bit more of a soft loft, uh, then it's 9 99 And for 9 99 can I show you how much you get? Loads. They're always pre-cut like this, so if you're multi-buying, it doesn't come joined up, but you can join them if you want, if you've got a bigger project. I wouldn't use this for a quilt. I wouldn't use this as a quilt wadding, but for wall hangings, for bags, for purses. Debbie Shaw gets through this. She does get through this like nobody's business. If you look through any of her books, her must-haves are always in her books, H640. If you have a look through her, her must-haves, it doesn't wrinkle when you iron it. Um, I would iron it on the reverse side. So if you imagine you've got your fabric and you press your fabric onto the adhesive, I wouldn't press onto the, I think you can. It's got all of the pressing instructions. But if you imagine, oh, look at this solstice range as well. <gasps> so if you then just press straight onto your iron like that, We'll see it in action. I wouldn't iron it from this side because you just want to keep this lovely and fleecy, but just give it a good press. It's got your iron instructions on the salvage. Um, as I said, it is an official Visaline product. Oh, there's so many of you, by the way, who are checking out on units on the, uh, on the solstice range. Just be aware, there's quite a few of these that are very limited very limited by the half meter oh definitely get the mega bundle it's just gorgeous we couldn't decide yesterday could we which were our favorites i'd definitely get the mega bundle it's just gorgeous um it's on pre-order by the way it is on pre-order that whole mega bundle in fact yeah have a look there it is it's just stunning absolutely stunning no show no, no show no snow in berkshire um Oh, no. Thank you, Sue. It keeps coming up that it, it stops my messages. It's just telling me who's watching. I'm going to have to rejig this again. Do you? Kat said, I know how to figure that out. If you notice our iPad's back, Emma bought in hers today, and then all of a sudden, this one got jealous and was like, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm still happy to go on telling. I can still do it. Show must go on. So it's all working all of a sudden. We had a message come in from Elizabeth earlier on. Hello, Elizabeth. She said, morning, print. Yeah, so Elizabeth calls me Princess Hungry Tummy because I'm always talking about food. 
<laughs> people didn't know I was pregnant at the time and I was just always talking about food and my tummy was rumbling um, so yeah Elizabeth called me princess hungry tummy and team uh, snow has stopped but it's minus three. Oh my word hope all of the team take care traveling what would we do without you all we all live quite locally actually so we all did send each other messages this morning at five o'clock being like is everyone all right is everyone getting there so and then Elliot bought us all a hot chocolate this morning so we came in to hot chocolates it sent Kat asleep, actually. She's not as perky as she was yesterday. That's probably why we're not hungry, isn't it? Glue pens out of stock, but we have the refills. We'll do those in just a second. Need to tell you just about the basket. So, the pattern on its own, oh my word, is completely sold out. If you want the bundles, we've got three. We've got the pastels, we've got misty blue, and we've got this one, which is the British design roll, and it's really beautiful. It's also with denim, which gives it great structure as well as obviously the H640, but it still gives it really lovely structure. The kit comes with the instructions, a huge panel, and a metre of fabric. In fact, hang on. So these are brilliant value for money because it's enough to it's enough fabric to be able to make two baskets. If you think the pattern was six pound fifty. The design rolls are normally £20, our design rolls are normally £20, so that's £26.50. A metre of denim is normally what, sort of £9, £10? So our bundles are £24.99. The value for money is brilliant on those, so just a quick heads up as lots of people got their eye on those. Right, Sue said morning. Morning, Mum. She always calls me Mum now, Arsu. Morning, Mum. Lots of snow here in Staffordshire. She says, I agree with Jill. Oh, thank you. She says, you've grown so much since we saw you. I oh, know. I have, haven't I? I've grown so much. Um, oh, we all feel like your collective mum. Love you all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My mum won't, won't mind at all. Elaine said, morning, Vicky and team. Hope you're well. Although my mum did text me worried about the weather this morning. She was like, have you got the in all right? I've been thinking all night that it's just snowing. Right, where are we? Glue refills. Glue refills. The pen uh, has completely sold out. Out of stock. We have got the refills now. Um, so, back in... Back in lockdown number one, every single person was asking for Solan glue pens. You've heard this story a lot, but I think it's worth telling. Emma's new here, so she, she hasn't heard. Um, so there's a technique, there's a, a, a patchwork technique called English paper piecing, it's a hand sewing technique, Emma. And you basically have papers where you glue fabric round to it and stitch them together. And it's really lovely. It's really mindful, actually. It's a nice slow stitch. Um, but to baste them, so to stick the, uh, the glue to the, the fabric, you can tack with a thread, but it's so much easier to do with a glue pen. And these aren't glue pens like a Pritt stick or other craft glues out there, because trust me, I've tried it. We've all been there, haven't we, and thought, do you know what, it's probably gonna work with just, um, you know, something that I've got in the cupboard already. <laughs> yeah, we've also got a jumbo jet, it sounds like, taking off the buffers. You probably can't hear at home, but... Uh, uh, so it isn't, it's a specially derived glue, a specially made glue just for fabric and sewers. So it's a temporary glue. So for English paper piecing, it's perfect because you're going to be able to take... It's going to hold your, your fabric in place, but then you're all, it's also not as strong that you, you're going to struggle to get your papers out. So it's brilliant. It's not going to gub up your needle. It dries completely clear. It's got loads of amazing benefits. So anyway, I digress from my story. Um, Kat was really into English paper piecing. I mean, really into pa English paper piecing to the point that every time we were doing quizzes, we were doing FaceTime, we were prepping for the next show and Kat's just sitting there stitching, like just all the time. Um, so it got to the point where she had ran out of glue pen uh, refills and we didn't have any here in stock. So she was that desperate that she wanted to get some more to carry on with her, with her addiction of English paper piecing that she bought three glue sticks on Amazon and it was nine pounds. You have got plus postage as well. Here you've got one, two, three, four, five, six for six ninety nine. Absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You can use this in conjunction with your sew line glue pen, but you can also use this in conjunction with your prim glue pen. It does work. Um, I know that 
It's worth giving it a go because Kat's got the prim glue pen and it works in yours, doesn't it? Uh, so you've got two in pink, two in blue and two in yellow, but it doesn't matter because they dry completely clear. Um, they are really, really useful, as I say, for EPP, but also so as use it for zips, inserting zips. We're going to be inserting zip into Jules's pencil case later. Um, just to place down little bits, whether it be a plique or anything you just want to hold in place temporarily. Sometimes you don't want to spray everything with 505 or you just need a little bit of a dab of glue. Or if you're thinking, maybe I don't want to pin. So if you're working with leathers or PUs that might leave a, a, a hole if you pin them, or more, more, more delicate fabrics that you, or trims, rickrack and things like that that you don't want to pin, it, it, it's faffy to pin. These are absolutely brilliant. I know Kerry from Living in Loveliness, she would not be without hers. She's always got hers in a pencil case. It's really handy to have. Um, we don't have the pens at the moment, but if you've already got the pen, grab yourself some refills. It definitely is worth stocking up on these. I know Hannah, who also loves EPP, our other producer, uh, she, she stocks up. She stocks up yearly. She'll just buy loads and loads and loads. Hannah um, Kat just said, I've taken after Hannah now. So how long would these generally last your cat? Per stick. She says, I could normally get about 30 to 40 hexes. It depends how sort of heavy handed you are with your glue. Oh, really? And Kat's still got hexes that she hasn't sewn in yet from the ones that she sort of bulk prepared last April back in the first lockdown. So I'm still trying to place them correctly. I've got lots of lovely fabrics and some of my favourite fabrics, which are brilliant for scraps, isn't it? Uh, to be able to just use up some of your favourites. But she's like, I'm still trying to place them. I don't quite know where I'm going to put them yet, but I've got them in a box. But they're still stuck with the glue pen. So even though I say it's temporary, it still lasts. It still lasts until you want to remove it. And you can easily um, sort of, what it will come out in the wash. So if you are inserting a, a, a zip into a bag, you don't need to worry about, you know, the glue being there. As soon as you put it in the wash or get a damp cloth, it will, it will remove the glue as well. Uh, just £6.99. Some of the Solstice fabrics have already sold out on their own. Bundle, grab the bundle whilst you can. The only way of getting all of these fabrics now is in the mega bundle and it's amazing. It's our favourite collection. Uh, the right tools for the job. Do you want me to? Um, the right tools for the job. This is something that I always thought, if I'm honest, is this a bit gadgety? Is this something that isn't really that much of a necessity? It won't make your iron completely redundant, but it doesn't look that exciting, does it, on telly? Let's be honest. It's brilliant. Number one, it's ergonomic, so it sits into the hand really lovely. Again, if you don't, if you don't want to put your iron onto PU or leather or something that you, you don't want to be, um, you don't want to be ironing. A quilt as you go, you can't really press all the time, so this is ideal for quilt as you go. It gives you a really crisp, really, really crisp um, crease. So if you're on the go, like with your glue pen, and you're not taking your iron and plugging it in elsewhere, because it's got like a tapered wheel that slightly tapers, when you press down, it immediately forces um, all of the tension onto the centre of the wheel. So I'm not pressing hard. You don't need to press hard at all, and it will give you a really sharp crease. I'm thinking as well, do you know if you've got lots of seams, if you've got lots of bulky seams, um, and you want to open your seams, look at that, it's giving it a really lovely, crisp, really lovely, crisp um, crease as well. It's a lot more sort of, it is a lot more, what's the word? It works a lot better than I thought it would. It works a lot better. You look at it and you think, well, how much can that work? Um, but actually, they're really, really useful. Really useful and amazing at what they do. There's so many guests that love this. Um, it completely sells out whenever it comes in. It does always sell out. Um, so that's a lovely, crisp, crisp crease, isn't it? Uh, notice it was back in stock. It wasn't supposed to be on air today, but we noticed that it was back in stock. It's just £15.99. pence. It is the epitome of having the right tool for the job. This is great, isn't it? Um, 
Well, an alternative is ironing, is getting you iron out all the time. And, and don't, as I said, it won't make your iron completely redundant. You'll still need to press. But to have a little handy tool that's on the move that is going to give you these lovely creases, um, whether you're doing hems, for dressmaking, for quilting, if you're opening seams, I always find it a bit of a faff, especially if there's multiple seams there, to be able to get the tip of my iron into it to open up the seams. Uh, so that's really handy, just to open your seams before you go in with your iron. Lots of our guest designers absolutely love that, so we had to go into the show. Well done if you've got it in your basket. If you've missed out before, grab it today. Right. <laughs> yeah, lots of people have noticed it's on the desk, um, so we've got to talk about the 680. Yesterday, Alison was using this machine, and we had so many messages. In fact, I know quite a few of you are waiting for delivery and might get it today. So let me know if you unwrap your 680 today. So, um, you know how much I love this machine. I've spoken about it um, in great length. It really, really is my favourite machine. We bring you an array of different brands. We bring you a lot of different um, models at a lot of different prices. This is your 680 plus. It is that absolute robust amazing machine that will grow with you as a sewer. Um, where the reason that I love it so much is because I know a lot of people who are hobby sewers. I also know a lot of people who are professional sewers who sew every single day and love this machine equally, whether you are a hobby sewer or whether you're a professional sewer. Um, it's incredible. Now, the difference with why now is because at the moment, we are still running five year warranty with this machine but only until this weekend. So on Sunday, it will go back to two year warranty. Um, all of the other machines come with a two year warranty. This one we extended to five years. So if you were umming and ahhing about it, um, it is on split pay as well, which is so exciting. It's 219 pound and 18 pay, 80 pence on split pay. The day that we launched split pay, every single one of the machines that we had in stock of the Alma 680 plus sold out. Now because of the world that we're in at the moment, um, the demand for sewing machines have gone up dramatically. I'm not just talking about us, manufacturers can't keep up with the supply and demand of sewing machines. Um, if you speak to Gary at Juki, if you speak to George uh, from Franklin's, if you speak to, to uh, of course Jane, uh, from Elna, from Janome. We are so lucky to have the relationships that we do that every now and then they say, oh, we've got a couple more that we can bring to air. So just be aware, Jane is on tomorrow. It's going to be a very, very busy day for Elna, um, especially as it's only, of course, this weekend that we can offer the five-year warranty. If you've got any questions for her, get them in. But I wouldn't hesitate on securing yours because I have got a feeling that tomorrow's show they could be saying, haven't got any 680s. Um, it is one of those machines that I know is a firm favourite, firm favourite with lots of our guest designers. Um, so the, the split payment option is worth, is over five split payments. So £219.80. It's got a huge array of stitches. It's got everything that you could possibly want. If you've got any questions about it, I'd love, love, love to talk more in depth about it. It's got a great array of utility stitches, applique stitches, satin stitches, alphabets, pictorial stitches. Yep, you can do monogramming with it. It's not an embroidery machine, but it's got loads of pictures and it's also got your alphabets as well. It's absolutely brilliant. It's also got a straight stitch needle plate. I highly recommend highly recommend having a look on the fan page because there's a lot of people who have got this machine lots of people who love this machine if you're umming and ahhing about it and you're thinking of checking it out today have a look it's of course it's an investment but this is a great thing this machine is something that if you are um somebody who wants to do more sewing and uh, you've outgrown your machine it's it's it might be not uh um, I always find that my machine would let me down, whereas this is going to grow with you. You've got so many different capabilities. If you want to do free motion, it comes with a free motion foot. If you want to do quilting, it comes with a walking foot. It comes with an extension table. It comes with a knee lift. It's got your automatic thread cutter. It's brilliant. Main thing though, we will be able to bring this back. We will not be able to bring it back with a five year warranty. That's until Sunday. 
all of the certificates come through from Elna. This machine will come from Elna. So if you are checking out today, just so you're aware, if you bought some of the fabric or any of the patterns, it will come separately from us. But do not pay for premium delivery, by the way, because it comes from Elna. It's still our same one P and P though. Even if you've bought the Solstice Strange, even if this comes from Elna, you'll still only pay our one P and P of three ninety five, which is amazing, absolutely amazing comes with a huge array of feed. As I say, I would go really into in depth with this, but you'll have a whole hour with um, with Jane talking about the feature and functions of it. So definitely get your questions in for us. If you get them in early enough, then I can make sure that I pass them over so that um, we can let John know. We can let John and Hannah know so that Jane answers your questions. If you've got yours, Huge congratulations. I am seriously envious because it is my favorite machine. Uh, I, I love loads of different machines for different reasons, but for me, this is amazing. It's got 170 sk stitches, 10 buttonholes. It's got a great um, stitch width as well. It goes right up to nine millimeters. So if you are doing monogramming, this is where obviously you can do some really great um, labels and personalization and things like that. It's got a great throat space. It's a big machine, a thousand stitches per minute. You can slow it down if you want, but my word, it can go really, really quick if you're doing lots of straight stitching. But even if you're a beginner, I think the reason that I love it is because it's really user friendly. It won't let you do anything you're not, you're not supposed to do. It's got plenty of room to keep all of your different feet. Um, it's got, I call that the uh, the wardrobe. You've also got your speed dial here. It's very swish, but it's also really, really user friendly. So you've got your straight stitch, quarter of an inch, you've got a zigzag, and it'll automatically default to what stitch width and what stitch length. It will tell you what foot you need. So if I press buttonhole, buttonhole, if I want to do a buttonhole, then it tells me that I need to put, uh, sorry, it's very awkward me leaning on the edge here. Um, you can see that you need to put foot, which is labelled R, and it's stitched 23. Um, if you press loads of buttons, like you've got a memory setting for your uh, thread cutter, so at the end of each si stitch sequence, it will cut your thread. But if you do think, oh, I've over, I've, I've done too many, I've, do I've pressed too many buttons, press cancel, and it will take you back to the start. It will take you back to the start. It's really user friendly. In fact, shall we have a look at what you get included? It comes with a huge array of feet that will grow with you. So you might not use all of these in every project, but it's amazing to know that you have got them. Your standard foot, your roll 10 foot. So Emma, I'm, I'm, this is for Emma, by the way. I'm telling all this to Emma because she's loving this machine. Your roll 10 foot, Emma, is for if you're working with um, a really lovely, uh, fine fabric that you want, like a lawn fabric that you want to do beautiful scarves with a little rolled hem. That's what you'd use that foot for. It's amazing. So you've got your rolled hem foot, zipper foot to put your zips on, satin stitch foot for any of your applique. If you want to do a, a, a big zigzag, it will let your needle swing from side to side. Open toe satin stitch foot so you can see what you're doing. Blind hem foot so you can turn up your trousers without having to have a line of stitches all around. It's a blind hem. Um, you've got your overlock foot. So even though this isn't, there's a separate machine that which is called an overlocker for stretch fabric, this gives you a bit of an overcasting stitch for if you're working with stretchier fabrics. Quarter of an inch seam foot for quilters, uh, closed toe darning foot, open toe darning foot, even feed foot. Uh, you've got your automatic buttonhole foot, your stabiliser plate, your button sewing foot, so it'll even sew on your buttons. Circular pivot pin, so you can do lovely circular quilting. The quilting guide bar, which you've seen Alison uh, Marion use yesterday. The quilting guide bar for even feed foot as well. Uh, you've then got your straight stitch needle plate. If you are just doing your straight stitches, it will do them absolutely perfectly. You've got five bobbins, all of your bits and bobs included, like your seam ripper, your needle uh, set for your machines, your lint brush, your spool holders, all of different sizes. You then also get a little screwdriver to be able to take, the only reason you would need to use a screwdriver is to take off the, the main sort of foot to be able to put your walking fit, your walking foot and your darning foot if you want to do free motion and you just drop your feed dogs. You then also have a little stylus, knee lift, extra wide extension table, foot controller and a semi hard cover as well. Um, 
it's an amazing machine. Remember, you have two year warranty as of, yeah, you have a two year warranty after this weekend. Today, you get a five year warranty. Make the most of it. All machines come with a two year warranty, all of the Elna machines. Today, this comes with a five year warranty until Sunday. So it, it is brilliant. Speak to the customer care team. Use the split pay option because it is 0% interest. Five easy payments of £219.80. Right, do you want to come over with me and we'll talk about lighting? Because absolutely essential part, whee, hello. Um, a real essential part of, um, of course, your craft room is having the right lights. Depending on whether you're, you're matching fabrics, if you're, if you're sitting in the, in the living room and you don't want to intrude on other people who are watching the telly, you want your own light, this is brilliant. So one of the great things about Sewing Street is that we, um, we really, really champion smaller independent brands. And Native Lighting are a new company. Um, Claire, who set the company up, she's worked in the lighting industry for years and years and years and years and years and she's listened to so many of you at craft fairs at exhibitions uh, and worked out what everybody wants as crafters in their lighting and she has developed the most incredible range of lighting which we've brought to air the lumina lights come in two different colors in white and in black it depends on your decor depends on which one you you prefer but they are completely unique to any other lights that I've seen at exhibitions or I've seen on the market because it has this amazing flexi swan light neck. It's really flexi. I mean, you can stretch that right out so you can get really lovely access uh, no matter where you're working. If it's too long for you, I mean, you can sort of spin it all completely out the way so it isn't going to intrude on your space. It will give you a beautiful let me show you the light. Bright, bright light, which isn't going to flood, isn't going to flood the whole space. It's just going to give you a lovely focused light. It's LED, so it's uh, low energy. It isn't going to give off any heat. You can change the setting of the color. So on the, the, the panel, it does say power, color, and brightness. So if I press color, oh yeah, let's take the lights down low. If we lower the lights a bit, then you'll be able to see it potentially more clearly. You have to really get it home to see. Oh my word, we're in the dark. <laughs> well, cat's setting up the sewing machines. So if I press colour, that's then your cooler light. If I press it again, that one is your warm light. And then that one is your mixed light. You can also, let me go back to cool, you can also adjust the brightness. So it's got all of these different brightness settings. It's getting brighter, brighter, can you see? Brighter, dimmer. So you can choose which brightness suits you and you can do that for all of the different colors. Whether it be warm, you can change the brightness again. So it's really, really versatile depending on, uh, on where you're working and where you're crafting. What I like about this one is that if you were to have your sewing machine set up, don't get me wrong, the 680, yes, it's got amazing lighting, but not all machines have got fantastic lighting. It was when I first started working with the 680 that I realized how poor the lighting was on my sewing machine. But you can actually sort of set this up that this is giving you extra lighting space on your sewing machine as you're working. So it is so handy, isn't it? Um, it's got a table clamp, so you can clamp straight to the table. Um, ours is a really, really thick desk, but we've also done this on a really thin glass and it did give me kittens because I was like, oh my word, you're gonna clamp that onto a glass thin table, you're gonna crack it. Um, but it's got a soft pad underneath, so you're not gonna damage your, your fabric, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, so it comes in white. We also have it in black. Your graphics are live for the black. And I must say, the black has been very, very popular because I think it's really cool and contemporary, isn't it? This is gonna be brilliant for, for offices, for reading lights, for crafts, hello. Um, but it's again got a lovely bright light. You can see the panel here, which shows you the, the, the colour and the brightness as well as your power. Um, this one plugs straight into your mains, doesn't it? Does it have a USB? 
It also comes, it isn't a USB, this is one that goes straight into the mains. It also comes with a, uh, a remote control, so you can do this all remotely as well. Have a look on the website, have a look on a native lighting website um, because they've got lots of information. <gasps> Sorry, but you can spin that round, look. It's great, isn't it? It is so useful. There's your, this is your uh, very versatile. If you've got any questions, we can pass them directly on to Claire from Native Lighting. Um, but also have a look on our website. If you type in Native Lighting, they have these as well as floor lights. They have magnifiers. They've got the reverse light. There's loads of amazing ones. This is your little, um, this is your, your remote that comes with it as well. Uh, so there's your on and off button. Pardon, Elliot? This one. Uh, you've also got your timer, so you can set it to 60 seconds or 10 seconds. You've got your brightness and colour. You've got 20%, 50%, 100%. You've got your warm, cool and mix, 95 and 99. It, they're investments again, but they do invest in having the right lights. Um, it will make such a difference on your crafting and on your eyes. Um, right, let me turn those off. So, I have no idea where this hour's gone. Uh, Jill, hello Jill. Jill's messaged in. When's baby due, Vicky? April. Not long. Um, my son bought me one of these lights for Christmas and it's amazing. Oh, how lucky. Aren't they gorgeous? Which colourway have you got? Have you got it in black or white? I like black. I think it's really sleek, isn't it? I think a lot of the white lights, people sort of associate them with more sort of... Um, medical or clinical sort of looking. They look really smart. They're very officey. If you've got quite a modern home, I think they'd be nice. But this is really, really handy. Really handy. Okay, now I've got to do this very, very quickly because we have got um, three machines to do in about three minutes. So, shall I make this really, really easy for everybody? 550, let's start with the 550. They all look very similar, don't they? They're all from the same sort of range. They're all brothers and sisters. They're all siblings. This is the most affordable. We'll do it in price order. This is the most affordable. It's the only machine um, that, in fact, no, we do have the also the, the smaller machine, don't we? We've got one that's slightly smaller, but at 500 pounds, this is brilliant. They all have a free arm, all three of the machine. They all have a, a built-in needle threader. They all have up down needle positions. They all have the start stop. They all have the reverse. They all have the speed control. Uh, they all have an extension table and they all have a hard case. This one has 50 stitches, 50 stitches. Nice that you can see them on the, uh, the little stitch card as well. It's available on split pay. It's 166 pound and 33 pence. Now, I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue and I'm doing a Debbie Shaw. Lots of you have this and you'll hear me talk about it and I love it. 550 is a great, simple machine. It's lovely to set up. It's nice and lightweight so if you are packing it away, it's not going to bounce around your, your, your machine. It's, um, it's really nice and lightweight. This one is a 560. Because of the price difference, I would say, do you know what actually? For an extra £79 or extra £80, this one has got the thread cutter. That is a game changer. It's got an automatic thread cutter and it's got 50, in fact, it's got 100 stitches. So with this one, you get an extra 50 stitches, so you've got some more decorative stitches on there, some more satin stitches, some more options on buttonholes. For me, it's all about formal buttonholes. It's the... Uh, it's the stitch, it's the uh, thread cutter that's the game changer for me. So that's the one that I'd be saying. Do you know what? Actually, if you can afford to do it, I know we're all working to different budgets, but actually, if you're thinking about that, have a serious think about this one. It's £80 more, but look at your split pay options again. We're at £193 on split pay. Brilliant. So, as I said, I know that we're running out of time, so we'll do this very quickly. There is one more that launched last March, I think. Um, it might have been April. This is the 570A. This is the one that I'd be going with for the value for money. If you're looking at spending less than £600 on a machine, 
this is the one that I would go for. Again, it comes with an extension table. It has the different feet and functions. It's got everything that we've been saying about the other two. It's got the thread cutter. It's also got, oh, this is where it gets even better. So the 550's got 50 stitches. The 560's got 100 stitches. This has got 380 stitches because it also has, I haven't got the manual here, but it also has an alphabet. So monogramming, personalization, quilt labels, if you want to do uh, wedding favors, if you want to do anything with an alphabet, it's got, it's got um, your capital letters and it's got your lowercase as well. So it's absolutely amazing value. And if you are looking at spending 600 pounds on a machine, if your budget is around there, I would have a serious think about this one. This is the one that I would be all over. Um, we've shown you all three and it's up to you to make your decision. And, and I understand, as I say, everyone's working to a different budget, but this is such good value. Um, we've got loads of machines here and it's worth having a look on the, the website. We're really lucky to have the relationship that we have with Juki and Elna and Franklin's and you know all the different suppliers that we use. Um, in fact, yours is using a completely different machine. So it is a bit of a minefield, I know, but if you've got um, any questions, please always get them in. We are doing a bit of a pit stop through Elna today because uh, I know that Jane is here tomorrow. But have a look on the fan page as well. There's studio at sewingstreet.com if you've got any questions for us here in the studio. Um, but the 570A is absolutely amazing. I love it, especially with the alphabet. It's a game changer. Now, Shall we get jewels on air? We've got a very, very popular pattern coming up next. I know it's popular because it's sold out already. Um, it's only launching today and the pattern on its own is already sold out. We've got brilliant value for money on the bundles as well though. So stay tuned, Jules is gonna be joining me right after this. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. New Year's are always about trying new things, so why not try out a new hobby? From the 4th to the 10th of January, Sewing Street will be bringing you a week packed with demonstrations on new techniques, beginners tutorials and brand new projects. With everything from ribbon art, making your own sleepwear, new quilting techniques and beginners homeware makes. We have something for everyone. Sign up to our email newsletter and follow us on social media to find out what's on when. And watch our New Year New Hobby shows from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 4th to Sunday the 10th of January on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our YouTube channel or Facebook Live. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com 
or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 44 33. Welcome back. Oh, I'm so pleased that you love this pattern already. Um, we've really loved um, Beth Studley's collection of patterns, haven't we? Her designs are amazing. We saw a quilt, we saw the little caddies, and, and, and everything has been selling out. So we have got, this time, a brand new pattern from Beth Studley. Um, all of the patterns individually that we had on pre-order have completely sold out. So well done if you managed to get them already and you're using your stash. In fact, if you are using your own fabric, stay tuned for the next hour at 10 o'clock we're launching the most beautiful fabrics so I must say the value for money is brilliant on these bundles absolutely brilliant so let's go through three different bundles we'll start with the British design roll because this is the one that Jules has already made up um, uh, and it is gorgeous isn't it in these colors so you have your lovely pattern which is again a love from Beth pattern Everything that you need to know in there. We've had a really great response from everybody who's managed to get there so far. Um, and with the bundles that we've put together, talking to George, you get so much fabric because the design rolls are huge. You get loads of denim. You get a whole meter of denim. So you can make two, uh, two of your baskets and you'll still have fabric from your panel left over. So you get your pattern. Let me show you the size of this. It's exclusive to Sewing Street and you can see just how much fabric you get. Normally, traditionally, obviously your quilting weight fabric is 112 wide. Because we've managed to, um, to print these exclusively, this is actually even wider than your normal jelly roll strips. These are 140, 140 wide great varieties of colours and prints, um, lots of different strips there. And I like the fact that you've got the little gap in between as well. So if you are cutting these into your two and a half inch strips, then of course you, um, you've got a little wiggle room there, a little bit of wiggle room. So these are normally 20 pounds on their own. They are 20 pounds on their own. They're the big jelly roll or design roll um, panels. So they're 19.99 on our website. The pattern we know is £6.50, which is now sold out individually. It was when it was in stock. Um, and then you've also got in this bundle a metre of denim, a whole metre, which has got to be surely, what, nine, ten pounds even here? It's £4.99 and a half metre normally, so there you go, ten pounds. So, whichever way you calculate it, I think there's been a bit of maths gone wrong here. £24.99 for the lot for the lot. You're getting something for free, aren't you? How good is that? And you're definitely going to be able to make two of your, your baskets and you'll still have some of your design roll left over. $24.99. Now loads of people have put that into baskets. We had it yesterday with the Liberty handbags as well. We were like, hang on, this doesn't actually add up. Um, so value for money in the kits are brilliant. Even if you are thinking of choosing to use, you know, different fabrics, you're always going to be able to use these, aren't you, for different projects? And actually, I was saying, we asked Jules, and I'll speak to her about it um, on the show today, about working with the different weights of fabric and, and how, how that was, um, how it works together. The great thing about having the denim, yes, we've used an interface here, we've got H640, um, but it's still going to give it more structure for having the denim. You've got a really lovely weight to your fabric. Looks great, doesn't it? I think these are going to be really nice for my... Um, Nursery, aren't they? Really handy. Okay. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, Twenty-four ninety-nine. But you get to make two as well with the bundles. You'll definitely be able to make two with that much fabric. Plus, you'll have more of your design roll left over. So there's loads. Um, okay, so that is your British design roll bundle. We also have these next two which come with a light blue denim so once again you get your Beth Studley pattern you get your light blue denim which is a whole meter uh, and then you also have misty blue I love this it's so pretty um, we did this with Delphine uh, with her elephant and it completely sold out that's the only time I've seen this panel and I love it and we didn't even really get a chance to to coo over it then did we this is just gorgeous the colors are beautiful so I mean 
They all work really, really well, don't they? You could even have this, if you love knitting and crochet, you could have this with all of your, your wool in, couldn't you? A little basket for all of your wool. So many different reasons that we need storage tubs. I, I think it's a whole sort of hobby in itself, isn't it, storage? I know over on us, it's a channel, Jewelry Maker, whenever we get storage in, it's just, oh, Magpies for storage. We all love storage. I um, I must say, through lockdown over the last year, I have got a bit obsessed with going through all of my drawers and organising them and going through cupboards and organising them. Storage tubs are so useful. So, so useful. I like that this one's got spots. It's got lovely um, uh, gingham prints. You've got almost like a stitched print here. You've got florals all in the different colours. A perfect graduation from greys to blue. But once again, remember, this on its own, 20 pounds the pattern on its own six pounds 50 and the denim 10 pounds whichever way you calculate it i'm i'm rubbish at maths and even i know that's wrong <laughs> so make the most of it whilst you can that is a great great kit i love the misty blue um panel it's beautiful and of course you also get your pattern Plus, don't forget, we're going to go through as much as it, uh, as much of the basket as we can today with Jules. So jot down today's date and you'll be able to sew along with her at home when you get your kit. And then, the ditzy bitsy. Oh, so hang on. What have I picked up? The light blue denim again. Right, so you get this time your pattern, your itsy bitsy or ditzy bitsy. Not it's a bitsy spider. Um, and your light blue denim. Let's have a quick look at the uh, itsy bitsy. Do my workouts, aren't I? Wee! Right. The pinks, the lilacs. Oh, I don't know if I've seen this one before. That's really pretty. You've got the gingham print. You've got the, uh, the check. You've got the floral. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. It's going to look great as well with the light blue denim. That's going to look really, really fresh together. Love those. Um, Kat's thinking of making one of these to put all of her hair bits and bobs, like hair dryer and hair bubbles and my brush and things like that. To have as a, do you know, if you just want to keep all of those things that you use on the daily, that's perfect, isn't it? Downstairs bathroom to keep, oh, your toilet rolls in. That's fancy, Kat. That'd be really nice. Yeah. Right, so they're your three bundles. There are your three bundles. The pattern on its own has sold out. Well, I don't know if you managed to get it. The design roll basket. Which one? This one. This one, it's the last two. So I think this is going to be the last chance you get of seeing it. Um, the one that, yeah, it's gone. It has gone. So you've got the misty blue and you've also got the lovely ditzy bitsy, which they're both absolutely beautiful. We mentioned it earlier, we are using H640 with this, which is your interfacing. Um, we looked at this earlier on in the show, uh, in the last hour. It's a great product from Visaline. It just gives you a bit of loft, a bit of fluffiness. Give, it gives you a bit of structure without being too, too firm. Uh, it's got an adhesive back as well, so you can just iron it straight onto your fabrics. Really, really useful. You get a whole meter, which is tons of H640 for this project. Honestly, you don't need too much. So um, we'll talk to, to Jules about using this as well. It's just nine pounds and 99 pence. Is that everything I need to mention? How are you, Jules? I've not seen you for ages. I must say, Happy New Year. <laughs> Watched you on Christmas Day and you Sorry. looked amazing. <laughs> no, you gave me the inspiration to, to wear my onesie on Boxing Day. I was like, you look so comfy. It was Definitely really comfy. Mine. And you didn't see under the desk, thank the Lord. But um, I've just got socks on. Oh, and John nice. was going, what are you doing? I'm like, well, who's going to put shoes on? <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, Kat's got her socks on right now. Yeah. I've got my pyjama buttons on and my slippers and you would never know. <laughs> I have got dressed today. Misty Blue sold out, just so you know. Um, the only option now is Ditsy Bitsy, which is your pinks, lilacs and blues. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's a great project, isn't yeah. it, Jules? Yeah. And do you know, um, when I got the design roll, so mine's got all the blues on it and you think, well, there's red on the design roll. I didn't have that. I own oh. only half of it. So I was thinking, out of this half that I've got, yeah. I could make two baskets. I might have to piece a little bit to get lining and stuff like but that. But with these, but you've got they're loads. massive, aren't they? <laughs> I know, I know. So, so you're definitely going to have plenty. Definitely get two. Um, 
possibly more. I mean, and also the beauty about this pattern, um, it's a very straightforward, it gets explained really well, and you're given all of the dimensions to make as you've got there. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you know, on a design roll, the the size of the design roll is usually two and a half inches as yeah. opposed to the inch that you cut. Yeah. So that leaves you either to make the rest in one and a half inches or one inches or two and a half. You can adapt this pattern. Lovely. So, so the you scope know, to personalise. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's really, and it's such a nice kind of, it squashes down if you want it to. So, you know, if you don't need the storage, you can push it away. And that's with the H640 in yeah. it. Or if you, you know, want to get it out the cupboard and yeah. Yeah, good stuff. they're really, really handy, aren't they? Um, well done. Everything's sold out. Over to you. Oh, OK. <laughs> bye. <laughs> um, but better show you how to do stuff. Yeah, <laughs> the main graphic is for H640, just so you know, because um, I think that's all that we've got left. Um, <laughs> but it is a really lovely project. And you were saying, so anybody who's a beginner, even oh, Beth yeah. does explain everything really, really thoroughly. Yeah. And if you're more experienced, you might look at the pattern and go, well, actually, I might do that bit first, okay. but it's interchangeable. So, for example, you make the whole of the outside and then you do the lining. But you might think, well, I'll do it the other way around. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, you can mix and match, but it's very clear. Oh, brilliant. That's good to know. So where do we start then? So they're two and a half inch strips, like you say, on the, um, yeah. on, so on the panel. On your printed panel. The design roll, sorry, I'm Do you need a and, glass uh, of water? Uh, the design roll, you've got the white lines in between it. So mm -hmm. you'll notice when you get it home, it looks like a design roll. Yeah. Um, so it looks like you should be cutting up either side of the white flash. Yeah. But when you get the other two, they're printed oh, yeah, uh, they edge don't. to edge. Yeah, they no, don't have a white flash. Which I really like because you can choose. Mm -hmm. Yes, this project is with the design roll, but you can choose not to use all of it like that and maybe ah. have, you know, make a tote bag and look like you've quilted it. Look like it you've pieced it. Whereas yeah. actually, <coughs> like you say, it's, and they all ombre so perfectly, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They it's all really look nice. lovely. You just see it as one piece of fabric then. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so uh, what you might find is that you um, kind of look at the design and you open it out and you think, well, actually, the pieces that all follow on to each other I don't want to use those I want to use them in a different configuration yeah so you've got the choice to do that having such a big piece of fabric to actually then cut open you, yeah. you kind of might be a little bit anxious don't be anxious about it what I did with my design roll is I folded that over so I've got this edge to edge and if you, as long as when you are starting off, so if you fold it over on your table, as long as when yeah. you're starting off, you've kind of lined up the colours and you'll see in between, you'll see that there is a, a mark between the two as to when it fades into one, uh, from one pattern into another. As long as you've lined it up, you can actually cut it, you, you can be fairly confident in cutting straight down the line. Fab. So just see how confident you feel, really. If you want to cut each one individually, go for it. Now, the width of the strips should be 30 inches. So obviously, if you're going to cut, the, the width of the fabric is a lot more yeah, than that. Yeah, so, I'm, not, I'm, I'm really bad at these inches. So it's 112 normally, isn't uh, it? So yeah, you, so you don't really- These are 140 wide, I think. Yeah. So you don't really want to be cutting all of that extra fabric, unless you're going to make multiple baskets and yeah. oh, of the same colourway, and that's absolutely fine. Okay. So what you might like to do is to fold it over so that it measures 30 inches. So if you yeah. fold it down and then take your 15 on the ruler, that would be 30 inches. Obviously, that's right. not efficient. So what you would be doing really, in reality, is that and measuring up to 15. You might want to give yourself a little bit of leeway and then cutting up so you've got them all as 30 inches okay and then you can slice off whatever you want to yeah. use really yeah. and on this one you'll see that I have got two different fabrics here and what I did was I oh, yeah. decided that I wasn't I, d I wasn't going to use them all in a run I was going to use them slightly differently so I um, folded them all over decided which pieces I wanted to use and then cut up one side at an inch. So if you take your ruler, I'm sure you, you'll know how to do this, but just in case, take your ruler and line it up to the edge of one side and then cut up that. So you'd have your, I'm not gonna cut all the way through it, but you'd have your inch from that side. And then you could decide that you wanted 
the other side, mm -hmm. but you wanted a piece left in the middle, so you've got decent amount of fabric to use for another project. So just line that up again and cut an inch from the other side, if you see what I'm yeah. kind of going with. And then that'll still leave you, oops, not very straight at the end, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And that'll still leave you a decent piece in the middle. I don't know if that's an inch, actually. Let's just see. Yeah. Yeah. Just under, just a scant okay. under an inch. So you, you can make the most out of this fabric. And the piece that you've got at the end, uh, the handles are, are also layered. Um, so if you oh, think lovely, ahead, if you think ahead, what you can do is you need six inches for the handle. So you could make it, instead of making it a 30 inch strip, you could make it a 36 inch strip and you've got your handle all sorted in, this, in the same cut. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, have a little think and play um, and don't be afraid to cut into your fabric and use it because you've got loads. So you, you know, you don't have to worry too much about that. You've got loads. You've got <laughs> more than loads. So what I've got here is this isn't the, um, so you, you need nine strips. So this isn't the nine strips. I, I've got a piece that I've made earlier, um, but I just wanted to show you how it looks when you start to sew it together. So you'll have a piece which is an, in an inch wide of your denim mm -hmm. for the um, bottom of the basket and an inch and a, a quarter for the top. So I don't know if you can just see there, I've marked them with friction pen oh, okay just so that you know which is which really because they're obviously different weights you're looking at a denim which is quite heavy and uh you know a, a cotton which is a, a quilting cotton which is lighter weight finer weight uh, how do you how do you go about that do they sew together fine they is sew it? really well actually oh, no, that's good although this is a denim it's a medium weight denim okay. it's not like your jean denim yeah so um it sews really nicely and and your panels the printed panels they're really nice are always on very good quality cotton so there's been no problem at all oh that's good to know thanks Jules so all you do is you'll get your um, nine uh, strips and you just organize them however you want them to be basically whatever color progression you want so if you want it faded fine if you want to mix and match your colors the rainbow one which is what's on Beth's kind of panel there obviously she's gone colorways on the rainbow and yeah. she's actually when she did that one um, she used the colour to top stitch of the colour of the fabric underneath. Yeah. But with this, I've just used a general colour. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking? For anyone who's missed out, you could use the barley pops, couldn't you? You know, the rainbow yeah. barley pops. Yep. Yeah. You could. Petites, and that would be really nice because you've got a texture to that, yeah. haven't you? It's worth having a look on our website what design rolls or jelly rolls we've got in stock because. Yeah, these are brilliant. And like you say, they they go such a long way with your fabric. You can thank our new Jess for that, by the way. <laughs> We're going to blame our, new, our new, new Jess. <laughs> we haven't even met her yet, and she's already given us all the bargains. So we love her. <laughs> we love her. Yeah, she's our friend, our <laughs> financial friend. Oh. So basically what you'll do is you'll stitch them together with a quarter of an inch seam. So I'll just do a couple and you, you kind of get the idea. Um, I'm using the 580 plus on the Elna today. Oh. It's a brand new machine that I'm using. Can I just say, I've never Thank seen you, this machine. It's the 580 plus. <laughs> yeah. Brand and it's, it's got the favourite feature. It's got the, um, the scissor cutter thing on there as well. <laughs> the button with the scissors on. <laughs> Right now, this machine is exclusive to Sewing Street. I'd never seen it before. It's the um, the one down from the 680 plus. It looks virtually identical. When um, Kat took it out of the box and she set it up, I thought, it oh, looks like the it's a 580, but it, it looks like a 680, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. the difference is the slightly less stitch, stitches. So there's 120 stitches. Yeah. It's got seven buttonholes, so it's still got a huge variety. It's got a massive and amount, and there's a huge array. There's five modes to this. I don't know how many there are in the um, uh, in the 680, but what the mode is is you you've got a bunch of stitches, and then which is in mode one, and then you change the mode, and you've got another bunch of stitches in mode two. It's brilliant. I love it. It's got you've and got loads under, of stuff. It's under a thousand pounds. Great price. I know. Really good price. I've been playing. <laughs> So at the end, you use scissors, um, and as you go, if you can, um, I don't know where the clover roll is. Oh, we is have that. Yeah, yeah, you will yeah. We'll anyway. that. We'll grab you that. So you get. That's you useful, isn't it? Is it yeah. behind you? Yes, it is. It's in the in the yellow behind tub. Behind you. Yellow oh, tub. Oh yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. 
so that's my favourite thing. As if you've seen me before, why? you know so it's my why, favourite So why is it thing. that you like this? Because you don't have to plug it in, you don't have to fiddle around with any heat or anything like yeah. that, you know, burn yourself on anything. All you just do is come along and give it a little squidge. It's a lot more efficient than I initially thought, just yeah. me. It works a lot better then. Yeah, when you've got it, you think, oh, it's not going to do the job. Um, but, you know, if you have been... So imagine how long these seams are and you've got nine sets and then you've got a top and a bottom. By the time you get to the end, if you're using your finger, you've got <laughs> yeah. kind of very sore finger. But this, and you, you just, it's so ergonomic as well. You've got, it's, it fits so nicely into your hands. So I know it's not an expensive gadget, but it's a very valuable gadget. Oh yeah, we love it. It's just £15.99. Which is, you know, for the amount that you use it, you know. Hardly anything really, it's pence. Yeah, I, I find it really useful pence for opening use. seams. Yeah, but on You're here, bulky. what we're doing is we're um, getting the seams to one side, push them all to the same side, so choose and then carry on with it. Um, because what you'll do, eventually you'll be stitching through um, to top stitch, uh, just to give the bag a little bit more of a quilt and form really. So um, just make sure that you've done that. Then if we, Stitch another one down. You kind of get the idea once I've done this one. Quarter of an inch? Would quarter you put your um, quarter of an inch foot on? Quarter of an inch foot if you want, or just move this over, move the uh, stitch width over, um, and it gives you a quarter of an inch. Oh, Susie Duncan, Happy New Year, Susie. Uh, she says, morning all, love the basket. She says, always handy for keeping projects together. Yeah. That's a good idea. So, you know, when you're halfway through a project and you can just put this by the sofa and you can pick it up and then finish, you know, your bits and bobs, any binding or bits that you want to. Um, said, or odd socks for stuffing. <laughs> odd, socks. odd socks. I collect odd socks. How do odd socks happen? I don't I know. I think how the washing they machine must steal them. Right, I'm not going to lie. Is I'm, there a dobby in there? I'm wearing odd socks today. <laughs> it's lucky, isn't it? I can't lift my leg as high as I used to be able to. <laughs> oh, Kat says, I, if, before I put them in the wash, I will make sure they're in a pair. Ah. If they're in, in, not in a pair, they're not going in the wash, she says. <laughs> Lorraine said, I made a larger version for my daughter when her baby was born with bits of everything, like nappies and wipes and bits and bobs. That's what I was thinking, you know, yeah. on the changing table, just to be able to have that with all the bits and bobs. Because you really need handy. stuff all over the place when you've got a little oh, one. Oh, gosh. It's always going to be in the wrong place, and you'll be halfway through changing a nappy and think, oh. OK, so I need <laughs> a few need of these. You need a few of those. OK, With then. In, yeah. But you say that they're, um, yeah, you can make quite a few anyway, can't you? Yeah. Kat just keeps telling me, Vic, they're sold out. They're sold out. I'm oh, like, sorry. I know. Stop it. <laughs> get some we'll try and get stuff. some more in stock. I know. Um, that's a really good idea, Lorraine. Um, just making the basket now to fill with small gifts for somebody's birthday. Excellent. Brilliant, Kim. Great idea. Morning, Donna. Loads of people saying good morning to us today. You're, uh, there, there was no snow this morning in London, was there? No, um, it was a uh, hard frost last night, but no snow. So on the way, it was all fine. And then Oxford, it was like, ooh, there's Did you stuff. see the fireworks on New Year's Eve? From your home. Um, I was thinking of you, thinking, I wonder whether you can see these. I did see some, but uh, not a massive amount, because obviously people were staying in more than yeah. anything. But at midnight, there was this guy across the way, went out into the middle of the road. No, it's not a busy place, it's a cul-de-sac. Middle of the road, set up the um, rockets in the middle of the road, and off he like, legged it, and they were just, yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> there were so many more fireworks this year than I've ever seen. I think I've people ever heard. just needed to let off. Steam. Yeah, maybe. So um, that's what you'll do. You'll stitch them all together, and that's the kind of thing. I, I mean, this is oh. a bit, bit further on, but that's the sort of thing that you're aiming for. Oh, the colour! Okay. It looks beautiful. It looks, like, it looks very shabby chic, doesn't it? I think that's my cup of tea. I love so that, those. That's a bit later on, but that, that's where you're at with it. And then once you've done all of that, um, you will take your piece of fabric that you've just created and use your, your H640. Um, if you've got H640, brilliant. If you have not, if you've only got um, stitching, don't worry too much mm -hmm. on this project. Because uh, you're all going to stitch over it anyway, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, but if you have got it, then all yeah. the better. And do you need, um, I mean, there's a metre here, so you've got 
bags. You've, you've got loads, haven't you? Yeah. Loads and, for your stash. And it's always handy, isn't it, H640? And also, I mean, on the instructions, it tells you to cut a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. and that's because we're going to quilt it. Um, but if you uh, kind of, on the uh, on the base, you don't need to cut it quite as big. So you can be a bit more economical if you want to be. Um, and of course, you can always ladder stitch it together so you've got extra pieces of it. So right. you, you can get around it anyway. So what you would do is you create with your pieces of fabric here, you create a fabric panel, which is equating to this. This is the lining panel. So I've skipped materials, but it's the same thing that you do with the lining as you do with the outer. Okay, okay. so you, you take your piece of fabric and you will iron it on if you want to, or if you just want to use a sewing, you don't need to iron it on. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll do some top stitching. So if you imagine this is going to be on here and we're going to top stitch just a fraction in. So if you, if I, I, I won't sew this to anything, but I'll just sew it to itself um, just to show you where a top stitch would be. So if you are, what I would do is line my needle up with the seam and then shift my needle over. She says shifting the stitch length. So I've shifted it over probably about two to three stitches. So you've got about an eighth of an inch, but you just want to be coming down. So you're, you've got your seam underneath. Mm -hmm. You want to just be anchoring that down and you'll be sewing through your material and through the lining. So that's just to show you what it looks like actually on the material. So you can see that's the effect, but I'm gonna do it on the lining now. Right. Um, and on the lining, you can choose to do exactly the same as what you did here, so an inch apart if you want to. So you could put your guy, your gauge thing on if you want, which we saw yesterday with Alison yeah. Marion, you know, the quilting bar, so you got consistent. I quite like it, you know, if you were to be quite a bit more doodly, actually, you, you could, could do all sorts. You could um, go down this with one of your Decorative. millions of stitches. <gasps> that you've got stitches, yeah. yeah, absolutely. You could pick whatever you like and and you'll see I'm not really measuring or doing anything else. You could use a walking foot if you want to, because this is starting to creep towards me, because I'm going a bit faster. But if you took it slower, you wouldn't really need this a walking foot. This machine looks amazing. I'm liking the look of this. You've picked it up really um, quickly and easily as well, haven't you? It's, it's nice and user-friendly. It's quite intuitive, yeah. All right, so that's what you'll be doing. So you'll be quilting your um, lining as well. When you're doing this, I've come down to the bottom there and you can see it's crept a little bit. So I'm going to go back the opposite yeah. way to take out some of the creeping. I love that yeah. we're converting Emma. See, Jules, um, I say that though, we were talking about, me and Jules were talking about it, that a lot of people sort of, I know, dabble in lots of different crafts. Crafty people are generally quite crafty people in lots of different uh, mediums. Yeah. So, Jules, you, you make jewellery as well, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and do paper crafting and all sorts of bits and bobs. I quite like uh, that you can take a bit of one thing and push it into something else, the mixed media sort of effect. I quite like that as well. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously at the minute I'm doing lots more sewing than I would do, than I've been doing jewellery making. But over Christmas I did have a chance to get a few earrings and knock together <laughs> stuff. But I think we said before, you know, once you've got techniques under your belt, you can adapt them to all sorts of different things, can't That's you? It. So you don't have to worry too much. Right, okay, so this is the, I don't think I need to do very much more of this to, to give you the idea of how it works. We've all got to watch John Scott this afternoon. He's making his jewellery maker debut. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. He'll be in his element, won't he? Oh, he will <laughs> love it. He will absolutely love it, honestly. And they're so lovely over there, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Well, initially we we were all over there, yeah. weren't we? Yeah. Over there, she says. But um, yeah, they the made us feel building. very welcome, didn't they? Yeah, we felt like we were we were the siblings that kind of yes. outstood their, they let us stay in the little spare room yeah. and then we did over, outstay our welcome yeah. a bit we were there for months and we months we grew up didn't we yeah <laughs> all right so that's your going to be either your outer or inner you know depending on which piece of fabric you're attaching together so yeah. you'll do both of those as i say beth's pattern it takes you through the outer completely 
and then through the, the, the rest of the process. So okay. you, can, you can choose whichever way you want to do it. Uh, so if we move on to the bases, now the bases are all cut out of the denim fabric. Right. If when you get to the end of your design rule um, and the denim and you, you're patching things together, you could always do it out of the design mm -hmm. rule, it doesn't matter. It might not be quite as rigid, that's mm. the only thing, but you could do it out of that if you wanted to. Right. Um, the pattern also has uh, templates included, oh, so that's good. outer and inner slightly larger, obviously slightly smaller. Uh, what I did was I photocopied those because I didn't want to cut the pattern up. It right, it's good because otherwise you're looking around the house like, right, have I got the right size plate <laughs> to draw around? <laughs> and you never have. So that's really handy that you've got the templates as well. So you'll do exactly the same thing as you did before. Cut out your template and place it over the fabric, cut the fabric out and then place it onto your H640 or other, whichever one you're going to use. Uh, and again, you can, if it's the H640, you can secure it down if you want to, but we're going to um, put a pattern on this anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to do a spiral pattern, which is quite nice. So what you do, you need to make sure when you're doing the spiral that you start off on your first row, it's pretty much the same distance so about half an inch all the way around until you're almost getting to here so imagine i've gone all the way around here mm -hmm. come to here and thought right okay that's i can see my beginning yeah. and then you need to spiral it in ah okay so that's what you do and you leave about uh three to four inches as an open space in the center and i suppose it so is at the actually, bottom isn't it so don't panic too oh, much. Oh, don't fret about any of this, because yeah. if, if you, well, don't look closely, but if you look yeah, closely. it looks great. <laughs> it looks great, doesn't it? And you don't need to worry about it all being completely sort of consistent, consistent, but no. So you're, are you still all right without your walking phone? Because you're going yeah. through here now, your denim and your 8640. Yeah. I'm not going very fast. Okay. And you could use a walking foot if you wanted to. Yeah. If, you, if Some people have a walking foot on their machine all the time. Yeah, Alison said that So, you know, if you've got it on there, don't take it off. It's absolutely fine. Or if you want to put it on, that's fine too. So okay. do do whatever you feel like. Um, as we were saying before, that these are fairly matched weight-wise. Um, and they, they don't seem to creep very much. They do a little bit, depending on the speed. But... They don't seem to creep very much, but if you um, thought, well, actually, I'm not sure about that, I'm going to put my walking foot on, do it. It's absolutely fine. So you're doing your kind of little turny bit with your hand. I've gone a bit, oh, gone a bit, woo, gone a bit slower. And then, so if you put a walking foot on, you're better off going, uh, not put a walking foot on, you're better off going a bit slower than I have, but. With a walking foot, you wouldn't get any pleats or um, puckers. Right, the 680, you get a walking foot. You do oh, it on okay. the 680, don't you? You don't on this one. Oh, so you 680 can 680, you do. The 580, you don't get a walking foot. You can add a walking foot onto it, though. These machines are brilliant because you can sort of grow with them um, if you do want to. But the 680, which you remember, have still got the five-year warranty on at the moment. Um, it goes down to two-year warranty after this weekend. So definitely worth thinking about, you know, if you are upgrading your machine. Um, we had a question from Susan. Susan, just really quickly, I'll answer your question. The 570A is amazing. I know that you've got it and it, I absolutely love it. So to answer your question, you've got your manual, haven't you? There is a space. If you're doing your monogramming with your alphabet, there is... Um, of course, a space there. So this is your manual that you'll get with your machine that you've that you've got um, for the 570A. And then at the back page, page 67, you've got your stitch charts here. So these are your alphabets, and it's these ones here at the end, 87, 88, and 89, which are your spaces. So um, it's in mode A, so you obviously, you know how to get to your alphabet, don't you, on the 570A, where you click your alphabet, it was just the spaces. So you've got all of like your emojis, and then you've also got these, which look like squares, they're your spaces. So you've got a small space, a medium, and then a larger space. Hope that answers your question. Please let me know if you need any more help. All righty, so um, that's the one I did, which really I should have pressed it down. But that's the one I did at home. Nice. We'll look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> that looks um, so I've got um, 
that would be where you ended up and then obviously you just got to trim so you want it to be trimmed down because this is the next stage is that you're going to fix one to the other okay, okay. so i am going to swap over now so imagine that you have fixed all of your first pieces together you've then top stitched them all onto your backing oh it looks lovely in those okay. colors and i wasn't really worried about what color i got at the bottom i changed halfway through it doesn't matter because okay. all you're going to see is the top so if you just press that down nicely and trim around the edges don't worry too much about trimming that edge to start with um, just make sure that you've trimmed this edge first of all mm -hmm. trim your base and then just do a quick check about how long it is so we're going for uh, 15 again and then what you'll need to do is just trim this off to make it a straight edge so you'll be joining this your long strip mm -hmm. together and then fastening it to the base. All right, so let's just trim that bit off. Hi, Karen. Karen, I don't know when the 780 is back in stock. No idea. Cat doesn't know. We didn't think we'd get the 570 when we did. We didn't we think we'd get the 680 back when we did. They're all coming in really kind of sporadically and we're not getting any warning. So, um, when it's here, it's here. I can't give you a date. Honestly, I'll be screaming from the rooftops when that comes back in, though. Don't you worry. There's delivery challenges, aren't there, really? Well, it's, it's, it's manufacturers as well. It isn't just the delivery. I think they can't keep up with... It's the whole chain. They can't keep up with the, yeah. the manufacturing demand at the moment. So we're going to stitch these, the end pieces together. Just make sure that you line up your seams. OK, cool. Uh, if you want to pop a pin in, Please feel free. So this is going to be where they meet. So it is worth actually spending that yeah. time to, to make sure that they, they all fit together nicely there. And your seams will run along there. So fit the top and bottom. And you go, oh, she's pinning. It doesn't normally pin, but sometimes <laughs> I do. <laughs> Only because I'm dangerous with these pins. They're devil pins. They are long <laughs> pins, sharp <laughs> long <laughs> pins, aren't they? You could clip. You could clip them, couldn't you? <laughs> you could clip it. I've had a message from Beverly. What's the code for the dark denim? Oh, okay. It is. Are you ready with a pen? B for Bravo. R for Robert. L for Lisa. J for Joseph. 43. That's the dark denim, which is this one. That's by the half metre. It's 499 and a half metre. 499 and a half metre. So if you do want to uh, use your own fabrics, but you love this denim look, absolutely go for it. Do yeah. I have any of the panels on their own? Like, do you know the Misty Blue or any of them on the website? Because I'm just thinking you could kind of put together your own kits. I know everything's sold out, but it's worth having to sift through our website and seeing if the Misty Blue or any of those design rolls. Yeah, see the strips, panels that are available individually. So you can kind of put together your own bundle anyway. I know the pattern's completely sold out now, but um, the panel, oh, it's gone down in price. It's 15 99 on the web. I mean, you still get amazing value for money on the web, but all of the, uh, the, the panels are normally 19 99 so absolutely make the most of it. Here she is with her rolling press again. Yeah. Just getting in there and opening that out a little bit. Just because I, I want a, a fairly flat seam. It doesn't matter in the middle, but top and bottom, I want a fairly flat seam. Okay, so um, we've now got our band. And what we're going to do is a bit like making a hat. We're going to fit the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, just check to see which way up you want it to be. So I've got the bigger piece is at the top. And then the narrow piece is at the bottom. Okay. And I would always start at your seam. So you're working right sides to right side. This is the bit that I would find a bit scary. Um, I think if you just plan it a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll fold that in half and just pop a pin to mark it, top and bottom. And then I've got my seam here and I'll fold that in half and pop a pin there. So those will be your starting points. It's a bit like when you're inserting the sleeves and doing necklines and things like that. You want a starting point that you can reference against. 
So I'll put halfway round, I'll put that to the seam, just open that out. And again, you can pin or clip. You might pin the first bit and then clip the rest. And then pin, so I've matched the centre of this and the centre of the outer band. And just pin that across. Is this getting quite bulky now? It is getting quite bulky. I've increased the stitch, uh, stitch length. Okay. This might be, if you're not comfortable sewing through multi layers, this might be the time that you would want to do. Can I nick that off then? Uh, you would want to do a walking foot. So you might want to do that on this. And you just go around and match it up. And you might have to ease in a little bit, but generally it should match up because we've measured it. If you're um, adapting the pattern. If you want to enlarge it or. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good idea as well. So then what you'll need to do is make sure that the long piece is the circumference, so the outside edge of the circle of the outside, and then just adapt it for the centre as well. I think there's probably about half an inch difference in the circumference from outer circle to inner lining circle. <laughs> oh, uh, Emma just asked, are we going to birth the bag? She's learning all of the new terminology. We did birth the bag. If we get that far, I well. <laughs> seem to be taking ages today. Sorry, no, Emma. all good. But we haven't we got any roundup, so you've got the rest of the show. I'm working now. It's all working now. I've got your messages again. Maggie said, um, uh, how do you get rid of the iron lines on cord trouser bottoms? Mm. How do you I don't know. Them? How do you get Does rid anyone of... Does anyone else know? Answer Maggie's question on Facebook. Do the they? iron lines? Oh, I know what she means. You could best press. Try a bit of best, best press. press. Yeah, have a go, Maggie. That's it, yeah. Because that gets quite a lot of... I've never done it, actually, but that gets quite a lot of stuff out, doesn't it? Elaine, I won't tell anybody. She says, I'm having a sneaky peek whilst I'm at work. She says, don't tell anyone, though. Um, Anne has said, um, my Anna 780A came with the alphabet on a separate card and written in the manual. Yes. That's, that's the only place that I've found it because on the machine, it was a bit deceiving at the start. We were like, where's the alphabet? Because it's not on the stitch card. The back of the manual she says, I love the machine, lovely machine, 100% recommend the 570A. We love it, it is a brilliant, brilliant machine. Had a message from Elaine as well asking what the standard accessories are for this machine that Jules is working. So, the one that Jules is working with is the 580 Plus. Oh, it's got a little wardrobe in there. I've got loads of stuff. So, I've got a zipper foot. Yeah, we'll have a look. There they are. Look. Yeah. You've got an over edge you, foot, oh, rolled yeah, end yeah. foot, zipper foot, you've got an open toe satin stitch got foot, blind stuff. hem foot, quarter of an inch foot, buttonhole foot, I've circular pivoting pin, quilting guide bar, um, all of your bits and bobs like extra bobbins and seam ripper and needle set and lint brush, loads of spools. Great, isn't it? It comes with I've loads of accessories. Stuff in the bottom as well. Got all sorts everywhere. Nice, nice, nice. The, it's the, it's the uh, thread cutter that's a game changer yeah. as well, isn't it? You know when you were saying earlier about the difference between those two machines earlier? Uh, yeah. And it was like, I don't know, worked out about 60 or 70 yeah. pounds? Yeah, yeah. Worth it. It is worth it, isn't worth it, for that it. thread cutter? Yeah. Um, so, right, how are you positioning this now? So, I have clipped everything all together. Yeah. So, what I'm doing is I've put it underneath the needle. You haven't taken your free arm, your gubbins box off or anything, no? No, don't need to because it's still fairly flat. Right. Um, and you, all you have to do is make sure that the bag piece, the, the main body piece underneath is slipped out of the way. So, you'll have your fingers underneath and just keep doing that like that. Um, and you want a quarter of an inch seam again uh, to seal the bottom. So you just literally are going around. You might want to just take it a bit easy because you're going around a curve. Don't be frightened of curves. It's just kind of left hand down a bit like, you, like you're driving. Um, but again, it's still managing without the walking foot, isn't yeah. it? I say the, the slower you can... That wasn't very good without the walking foot. Sorry, everybody. But if you are taking it easy, then you'll, it'll be fine. All those clips, like you said, it's the preparation, isn't it? Getting yourself all organised and set up before you go to the machine. And it doesn't really take help. long to put clips in, does it really? No. Probably less time than to put um, pins in. And you can see them a lot easier, can't you, when you're taking yeah. them out? 
These are nice clips, actually. I've had some clips in the past and they've been a bit um, plasticky. I know they're made out of plastic, but very thin and, and they don't take very much um, pressure. But these ones that we do, they're really good. So this is the outer bag. You'll do exactly the same thing for the lining. So you'll have a piece of uh, a denim inner circle, which you will have um, quilted on top of. And you've got the long piece, which you will have quilted, and then you'll join it together. Right. So exactly the same. So Emma was saying, do we birth the bag? <laughs> we do, Not as such. We put one inside the other and then um, seal the top. So there's no opening left right. to pull the other bag through. <laughs> so sorry, not this time. It's just funny, isn't it? All the different terms that she was like, you must be having me on. She, she said, what are we talking about feeding the dogs for? And I was like, do you mean the feed dogs? <laughs> and then there was the dog ears. Yeah, there's a lot of animal references. <laughs> you wait until we start talking about our humper jumper. <laughs> what kind of jumper? You know the humper jumper? Yeah, no, no. For, oh, for yeah, Emma. Yeah, what? Jumper, what? what? She says, you're lean, all in on this. she says you're all in on this, you're trying to make me look silly. No, would, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> right, nearly there. I mean, it's not as manageable size actually, isn't yeah. it? You know, if this were much yeah. bigger, I'd be going, oh my word, this is, is getting bulky, but actually yeah. it's nice. And inside. realistically, you could probably make this in a day, an yeah. afternoon if you're speedy, but yeah. You know, if you want to take your time and a maybe play a little bit more with the um, uh, the stitches inside, you know, do some more stitches inside, nice. you could. So do you need to trim it down at all or not? No? No. It seemed to work fine. Yeah. You know how we normally clip it to yeah. do a curve? It seemed to work fine not doing that. So there you go. So that, when you get to this stage, you think, oh, yes, it's coming together. Ooh. Yeah, it's looking like a bucket now, isn't it? Yeah. So there we go. So that's your outer. And then you'll do exactly the same kind of thing for your inner. Um, which, what that was? Well, we don't have to do a round of jewels. We've got about 10 minutes. So okay. you do whatever you um, want. I think what I'll do is I'll do the handles. And yeah. then if we've got time, I might come back to this. Okay. Yeah? Uh, so if we leave that there for a second. So on your handles, uh, now I... Because I was using the second lot, I, I, this is the second lot I've done out of the H640, I have got two pieces that are making this handle lot. So that piece and that piece, and I've laddered them together. So you might have to do that a little bit on some of your um, lining, uh, your interfacing, if you, if you haven't got enough. Um, so the next thing that you'll do is the pieces that are the six inch long pieces, you follow the same order. If you see, I've done the same color order mm -hmm. as on there. Um, and you'll stitch them exactly the same thing, stitch them together. And then what we'll do is we'll stitch a piece of the denim to the top and a piece to the bottom. So all the dimensions are included in there. So you don't have to worry uh, about um, kind of sizing. So if you just, Stitch those two together, one at the top, one at the bottom. I do like these nice sturdy handles and they look really pretty that you're then getting the glimpses of all of those lovely prints as well. Yeah. Really nice. The only thing that I did find uh, was a bit of a challenge is when you're doing the handles, they, do, they are getting quite bulky. Yeah. Um, so the final bit where you're stitching the handles together to give you that extra grip on the central part, yeah. um, I did by hand yeah. because I just could not get it through my machine. I haven't got any of these machines um, and I just couldn't get it through my machine. Yeah, so but hand stitching, it's not much hand stitching no, to do, is no. it, if you do want to. I actually quite like it. It looks really nice. Um, you could do, yeah, you know, a nice, a nice thick embroidery skein yeah. and, and it's a nice sort of hand finished touch, isn't it? Yeah. So there we are again. So you're making both handles at the same time because you think, oh, actually, I've only got one lot here, but you, you're going to cut them down. So let's um, just... 
just put our seams in again. Sorry, I'm looking at, I'm looking through into the gallery. The lights on in there, and Ellie's got a meter stick in there. What are you doing with that? <laughs> just waving it around. Is it? Is, oh, is he trying to be two meters apart? Oh uh, yeah, he's got his, he's got his stick there. Bless he's her. um he's keeping an eye on Emma. She's doing a directed on her own today, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to be trained by Elliot. <laughs> We've had a message from Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer said, love the bag. So I'm going to put um, the plastic canvas inside to give the bag even more structure. So it's, uh, it's easy to cut into the shape and it still has flexibility. Yeah. Nice, good idea. Yeah. And you can wipe it clean then. If it's like a makeup tub or something, you know, that you're keeping um, messier bits. Right, yeah, good idea. Normally you would go, like, so the instructions tell you to go down each one. I'm just doing random ones just to make sure it's secure. Terry said, morning ladies, it's starting to snow, I think. I'll be staying in today. Yeah, mm. stay in. It can snow a bit later when we're all home. <laughs> That's it, yeah. There's nothing else to do, is there? We'll just stay in. And don't worry, because we're keeping you company. Sewing Street takeover today across all of Gemporia. <laughs> John Scott's on jewellery maker this afternoon as well. So, yeah, we're, we, we are making sure everybody's kept company till five o'clock today. He's going to have fun. <laughs> all right, so if you have a look on the... I'll sh just show you on the diagram and then I'll do it. Um, it shows you that you put in your wadding underneath and then you're folding everything over. So you've got a quarter of an inch that you're going under one side and then half an inch that you, uh, sorry, an inch that you're going over the other side. So you're kind of making a mm -hmm. kind of package, if you like. Uh, but that only happens when you've cut these into three inch wide st yeah. um, strips. So if I um, head on and do that, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit more. And you can vary this if you want to. You could, um, you know, you could change the orientation of the the pattern. You could make just denim only. You know, you could do a few different things on it. And then if I just cut that down to three inches now, just make sure I've got three inches on both. If you do want to make these um, these buckets, by the way, I keep looking at this solstice fabric that we've got in the next hour. How that lovely would this look in that as well? That is very um, designer-esque. What does it remind you of? Uh, well, some of it reminds me a bit of Caif. Right. And some of it reminds me a bit of Liberty. Yeah. I've got a, I've got a mixture of both coming through on there, I think. I love it. Oh, gosh, they're gorgeous. Did you say that's sold out, though? Um, there's some by the half meter that are sold out. We've still got mega bundles and we've still got lots. We'll still be able to show you lots of fabric, don't worry. Um, but yeah, when we were looking through it yesterday, we were saying this is going to be so popular. It's yeah. so beautiful. And it's unlike anything else, like you That's say, so it's cool. really designer, really yes. designer. The colours are lovely. Message from Margaret or Maggie. Uh, Maggie said, Morning to you all. Happy New Year. Happy New Year Happy to New you Year. too. Um, as everything is sold out, can you tell me the name of the designer so I can look at her? Yes, it's Love by Beth it is a website. Love, um, Love by Beth, which is Beth Studley. She's got a great array of patterns, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, lovely. I, I first saw Beth's patterns when I went to Festival of Quilts. Oh, okay. Um, a little while ago, obviously. Um, and the pods, yeah. the bubble, I just fell in love with those. They're just really nice. Um, and I hadn't seen this pattern. I don't know if this is one of her newer patterns, but I hadn't seen this pattern, but it's really nice. And she always makes it um, really clear, you know? Yeah. You can, you can get on with it. Yeah. It's Love From Beth, isn't it? Did I say it wrong? Yeah. Love From Beth. Uh, she's got her own fabric. She's got patterns. We'll definitely get some more in. Yeah. Um, quilt patterns on there as well. Yeah, it's definitely worth having a look. So I'm folding that down, and then I'm going to fold it over to make the edge, to make the... And I'm clipping this because it's getting quite bulky, you'll see. You could if you wanted to. I think Beth was saying uh, put one strip of wadding in 
Um, I've gone for the wadding over the, the back, the, the complete part of the back, because I think it's quite nice to have a, a squidgy handle, but you can just do a small amount if you wanted to. And obviously, if you've got thicker fabric, you might not need to put so much wadding in. It's not like you're carrying it anywhere no, exactly. far. So uh, we've tucked in both of the raw edges so that when we sew it down, we'll sew it down the outside edge. And this is definitely a place where you'll want to um, elongate your stitch possibly put a walking foot on. I don't know how, whether this machine will take it. It might not. Um, but I'm not going to put a walking yeah, foot on. Yeah, don't worry. We're, um, we're running thing, out of time anyway. Uh, we've had a few questions about the clips. Oh, I'm going to tell you a secret. We can't bring the graphics in, but they are still at an early bird price. They're still at an early bird price. So they are 9 99 for 50 of the multi-purpose sewing clips. And I'll tell you what, that's, that's a good amount, isn't it? Because if you're doing binding or if you're doing this bag, you need plenty of clips. So 50 of them, 9 99 Can't bring the graphics in because I'll get told off, but type in multi-purpose on the website and you'll find the clips at an early bird price still. They're only £10. Definitely worth making the most of those Definitely. if you're asking about them. Brilliant. Thanks, Jules. Right, that's me humper jumper spot. I haven't got it, but there you go. You can. All oh, right, I know you don't like that. I'm going. I'm going oh, maybe it's slightly bulky without your walking foot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. It doesn't With the like humper that bit. jumper. We want the humper jumper, but don't worry. We'll just squidge through for now. So at home, you'll be doing it differently from this. And is this where you hand stitched at home? No, um, I hand stitched when I got to the, the next bit. So you, okay. you flatten it out and you put it onto the bag. So you'll be fitting. Okay, let's just do this. So you're fitting it onto the bag. So when you're deciding where your handles are, um, yeah. I decided I wanted the handles either side away from the seam. Okay. So pull it across so you've got the seam there and then divide it in again. So this is all a kind of by eye thing. That's the central point. Mm -hmm. So what you want is um, a, about an inch and a half either side. So that's where one handles go in, one end, and that's where the other ends go in. Then what you'll do is you'll stitch this down. Uh, I think. Beth was saying about two rows down, two or three rows down. It tells you in the pattern. Uh, so you stitch it down there. You've got half way across and you stitch it down there. So you'll secure your handles. You go down, across and up. You can either do a cross in the middle or just another line down. It depends on yeah. how you feel. And then once you've got your handle together, so this bit here, you then have to fold, fold that again. in again. So if you imagine that I was having trouble getting across those seams oh, yes. initially and my machine just would not take it this no. this with your humper jumper and a walking foot might yeah but mine wasn't having any of it so I just then folded that across and stitched in between yeah just stitched down that bit so that would be one side of your handle other side of your handle um, will go on uh, and then your inner so you'll have your lining which you'll place wadding to wadding so you're ending up with your lining this way your outer that way and then there's another piece uh, which is the top piece which you use for your binding so you've got those two pieces together you'll clip those all the way around you could if you wanted to do just do a, a very long stitch to tack them together if you just want to keep everything in place just make sure that your handles are down when you're doing that and then you'll attach the binding. So the way that you attach the binding, you'll fold in, mm -hmm. it's a bit like a bias binding, you'll fold in a piece um, to make it um, a nice clean edge. So that's the edge that you don't stitch initially, because that's the piece that you're going to sew on the inside. Yeah. Then on the outside, you'll attach, so this is again, another place where you probably want a walking foot. You'll attach your binding, right sides to the outer bag you'll have your bag the wadding the wadding from the lining and then the lining on the inside yeah does that make sense yeah so you've got you've actually got six 
five six layers. layers. Yeah. yeah, five layers. Uh, so you'll stitch a quarter of an inch all the way round. Once that's stitched along there, you're going to fold this to the inside and then just lace hand it stitch. together. Hand stitch it together. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. And that'll finish your edge like that. So that'll be the edge piece. Oh, and it is beautiful. Really nice finish. And that colour is really nice as well. Oh, they're all, honestly, I love the kits. They've been beautiful, haven't they? Really, really nice. Um, thank you ever so much, Jules. That's all right. You're very You've welcome. You've got the uh, pencil case. Where's it gone? Here it is. He's run off to the zoo. <laughs> Thanks for coming up uh, in the next hour with Jules. Oh, he's so much fun, isn't he? And especially with a lot of people homeschooling. I know you're homeschooling at the yeah. moment, aren't you? Yeah. This is a great project, isn't it? Absolutely love him. Um, it, we've got the whole kits all available. You still haven't turned me back on, Kat. You've got all of... No. <laughs> it's all right. Um, so... Coming up at 11 o'clock. Coming up at 11 o'clock. There he is. Oh, we're excited for this. It's going to be very popular. It's all on pre-order if you do want to reserve your place. Thank you ever so much, Jules. We'll see Thank you in you. an hour. Lovely. Uh, it's time. The Solstice Collection. Brand new in today. Out today is my prediction as well. Get ready on pre-order. Get ready on the website or on the phone because we are going to launch every single one of these fabrics and the Mega Bundle right after this. Hello Sewing Street fans, let me introduce myself. My name is Clive, I live in Kenilworth in Warwickshire. I currently run a business in Kenilworth and that's doing alterations on people's clothing. So I really enjoy kind of providing that service for the local community. My sewing journey first began when my grandmother gave me a hand crank sewing machine um, and from there I was fascinated about how things were put together. Uh, to the point where I used to make um, clothing for my favourite toys out of toilet tissue. I've also kind of studied fashion design at Epsom University in Surrey. Uh, so I've kind of gained knowledge along the way of different aspects of sewing, like pattern cutting. So yeah, that's a little bit about my sewing journey. My number one sewing tip is don't give up. Sometimes you'll get frustrated and you're angry with yourself but really just put it to one side and take half an hour, go and have a cup of tea and a biscuit and then come back to it and then you'll kind of like have a fresh mind to start again. The positive happiness that comes from that is just amazing. So please don't give up, keep on sewing. My claim to fame, well, if you've been watching, you've probably heard my name mentioned on Sewing Street several times. Uh, my husband is Mark Francis from the Sewing Bee, the Great British Sewing Bee. Um, so that's number one claim to fame. My second claim to fame is I had Adele, uh, the beautiful, beautiful tones of Adele singing for me when I was a barman back in the day. It was, oh, it was just amazing to have her sing to me at my bar. So yeah, and also I've met Prince Harry at a VIP party. Stay tuned on Sewing Street and you'll see me very soon. I hope it all goes well, fingers crossed. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. I've just had a chocolate in the break and I'm just thinking, I've definitely got that oil in my teeth. I've got the dentist this afternoon as well. <gasps> mm, that's not best, is it? Right, are we ready for this collection? Oh, I absolutely love this. Uh, I think it's my favourite collection of 
I was going to say the year, but I know that we're only a few days in and it's more than that. I think this is one of my favourite collections ever. It's just so bright, so vibrant, really cool. It's absolutely beautiful. <gasps> Are you ready to indulge? 22 and a half metres. Sorry, 22 half metres, which is 11 metres of gorgeous quilting weight fabric. I absolutely love all of these. Jules was saying she could see a little bit of uh, Liberty, a little bit of Cave. It is like a mix of some of our favourite designers, a bit of Riley Blake in there. It's just gorgeous colours, gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Now, a few things that you need to know. Um, we've had it on pre-order since 8 o'clock this morning and we started with great quantities. Uh, we managed to move some stock around yesterday because um, we were a bit panicked that we wouldn't have enough to go around. So Hayley was here. I know that there's a lot of um, the team, the scheduling team, who are desperate to put this in for, for, for bundles, for different kits, for different projects. And we were like, look, please, 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 for the launch show, can we max out and do as many as we can? Because this isn't gonna this isn't gonna last. We have put together as many as we can. We've got as much as we possibly can by the half meter as well, and we've already sold out on certain um, certain lines. So if there are designs that you love on here, grab the mega bundle whilst you can. We've done it on split pay, split pay as well. So it is on split pay. Three easy payments of fifty two pounds and forty three pence interest free it means you can get it home and start working with it and sewing with it and the great thing about these are there's so many colors in there that you're going to be able to really make it go that extra mile we've got some complementary fabrics that are solids but this is going to go with so much in your stash so so much in your stash even if you're teaming it with a white or a navy blue or i mean it's just amazing should we start opening some of them up we've been so excited about this all week haven't we cat uh, I think this this is definitely one of my favourites. You saw this earlier on when I had the uh, H640 at 8 o'clock. I think this might be the one that's already sold out, you know. This is P um, DPUI72. It has sold out by the half metre. We can still look at it. You can still get it in the Mega Bundle. It's absolutely amazing. It's sold out by the half metre. We have it also, though, in a different... Um, the other colourway, I think, also sold out by the half metre. Um, you can get it in the Mega Bundle there as well. There's some beautiful, beautiful prints. I was going to go TDUI80. There's a, a few of these prints, you see. There's four different colours. But can you see, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, TDUI80. <gasps> We've got it by the half metre. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because everything, as I say, um, is being snapped up on the website. It's such soft cotton, beautifully soft, quilting weight. Now, I can see our Kerry in Living in Loveliness in a dress in this. Kerry, Living in Loveliness, oh my word, this would be beautiful for dressmaking. And it is your chance now to buy by the half metre. 112 wide. I'll pop it on the desk so you can see that print because this is the one actually. I'd say is, oh, it's just so designer inspired, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. It's just seven pounds, 49 and a half meter. And it's such gorgeous quality cotton. The detail and all of those different colors. I absolutely love it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That spearminty green background, all of the wild flowers. I'd probably mix this in with, oh, do you know what? It, it keeps changing. There's, there's yellows in here, there's pinks in here, so you could put, I mean, any of these, look. If you want to put this with, maybe, I always go for this colour, don't I? I just love this. I spoke about this a lot yesterday, but I just think it goes so well. How about having a look at a contrasting, um, a teal? That's teal. Oh, um, or the navy. I mean, there's so many beautiful colours that would go with it. What about that bright pink? What do you think? They all go really, really well, don't they? That one's called Raspberry. All of these are on the website as our uh, half meters, but you can see, I mean, they're only 349 and a half meter for your solids. So it does mean that your designer fabric is gonna go so much further. Those of you that got the rosemary fabric earlier on, you only need two half meters. I'd get this and one of the contrasting solid fabrics and have the flap 
with this, oh, it would look absolutely gorgeous. You could make that lovely rosemary bag, couldn't you? Um, right, so that's half a metre, £7.49. It's available by the half metre. Um, if you do want a metre, put two units in your basket. If you want three metres, put six units. Remember, it's as much as you want, but be aware, there's a lot of these that are incredibly limited. It's gorgeous. It is very, very busy today. I think it's so busy that our graphics are um, on go slow or they might have even crashed. Um, shall I do the other two in that same print to make this easy or shall I dot about a bit? In fact, can I just jump to this one? Because this is so lovely. This one is TDUI83. Look at that. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I'm thinking for bag makers, for dressmakers, for cushions. Quite, I'm thinking quite festivally things as well. You know, I, I love a pom pom trim, I do pom-pom trim on the edge of this, a bright yellow one would look amazing. Uh, we're just indulging in some of these whilst our, um, whilst our, our graphics um, come back in. I know that we've had a bit of a, we've had a bit of technical problems, but it's only because um, it's so busy. Oh, we're back, we're back, we're back. This one is TD, um, where did, where's the stick on? TD UI83. I feel like this is quite uh, vintagey colours, do you know what I mean? Not vintagey, oh, I don't know how to describe it. There's just so many different uh, emotions this makes feel. It's just so summery, it's so beautiful, especially as we're entering in a new year. Fingers crossed with lots of positivity to come our way. We all deserve it, don't we? This would be amazing for all of our summer projects. And I think this year we're all going to go all out, aren't we? Isn't that gorgeous? Sheila, I think the um, the website should be all up now. I think we had a little power surge because everyone's uh, sort of had the gremlins then. Sheila, try again. Have a go at getting onto the website again. Refresh your page or close it and reopen it because, um, yeah, I think we're all all right. It started working for Cat now, so hopefully it's working at home for you too. Uh, right, there you go. 7.49.5 metre. This is your flower bed on blue. This one, again, has got that lovely raspberry... That would look amazing, wouldn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Or, dare I say it again, jade and raspberry to go with. <clears throat> Your lime. You're going to throw a snowball at me this morning, did you just say? Oh. Oh, uh, Kat said that there was loads of, imagine this morning, six here, if Kat ran out of it, <laughs> launched a snowball. <laughs> Uh, just seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. That one is beautiful, the aqua blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I wonder whether we parked in the bays properly this morning. <laughs> the, do you know what, there isn't for me, normally with a collection, there's the flagship, the face of the collection. I can't actually see one with this. I think they're all absolutely beautiful. I really love this as well. I'm going for another print. I'm just going random. Right, this one is B-H-U-I. She's found it. She's on it already. Even if you're making little um, hair scrunches, little purses, caddies, face coverings. I mean, there's so much that you're going to be able to make this. It's 100% cotton, quilting weight, so bright. Uh, we've said Liberty, we mentioned Kaif, we mentioned Riley Blake. Now, Kat's thinking Tilda. Very designer indeed, isn't it? 749 and a half metre, this beautiful Ditsy Scales print. You've got lovely pinks, this will go perfect with raspberry. For rosemary bag, absolutely, absolutely. Mega bundle, by the way, if you love this fabric as much as we do. Honestly, it's our favourite bundle. You can still get the whole shebang. So all 12 metres of fabric, there you go. And you get half a metre free uh, for just £157.29. It is available on split pay as well. There's the whole shebang. It's deceiving seeing it all like that, though, actually. There's loads of fabric. You get 11 metres of fabric. 11 metres of fabric, it's loads. 
Isn't that so beautiful? Honestly, wait till you get this home. It's so, so soft indeed. Without me literally physically laying out 11 meters of fabric all over the desk, um, it's difficult for you to see just how much fabric you've got. There's loads, isn't there? Okay. If there's any that you want to see together, if there's any that you want me to put with any of the complementing solids, let me know. Of course, this is your hour. This is your hour. Let me, um, I'm just having a bit of a play with all of these. We want you to be able to get these home. I love it. Um, this one is really opulent. Now this one's um, FJUI68. How opulent is this? Now this is a really different, this is a really different feel actually. It's quite, you could go real gold with this, absolutely. Look at that. Oh, Emma's thinking festivals, Glastonbury. French knots on the end of some of these flowers. You could really embellish. Let's have a look at this with navy. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that makes it really opulent, like it makes it very, very gold, do you know what I mean? Those ochres are really gorgeous. It does make this chartreuse, not chartreuse, this golden ochre sort of tone. It, it makes it even more gold. Absolutely beautiful. Now this looks very classy, doesn't it? Even though it's really fun and really festival and flamboyant, actually, just, t just turn it, toning it down with the navy blue, makes this one look very classy. Country home. It is so soft, it's beautiful quality. Quilting weight cotton, seven pounds and 49 pence. There's so many of you got all these in your baskets. I've never been to Glastonbury, have you? Oh. I've tried every year to get tickets. How have you got tickets twice? I've tried every year. Ah, oh. I felt like because of where I lived, they used to discriminate me and they thought, no, we don't want you, we don't want you there. I, honestly, I've tried so many times to get tickets that I am taking this personally now. I am taking it personally. No, how do you get tickets for Glastonbury then, Emma? You say you live locally. <laughs> yeah. You used to live locally, so just give your old home address. <laughs> oh, look at these bright colours. UCCI89. UCC989. Oh, again with a dark background. Again, actually, do you know what? With one of these darker backgrounds. It's got a lovely repeat as well. Mm, maybe not the green this time. I'd definitely go the navy though. The navy would look lovely. This this um, sort of cobalty blue. Ah, there's me with my jade. Oh, is that too samey same? Elliot, trendsetter Elliot is saying I'd go darker. Don't let that put you off. Elliot has got good taste. Or no, that's my favorite. That's my favorite, the teal. That's the teal. Just seven forty nine and a half meter. Yeah, that works really, really well, doesn't it? If you wanted to make, imagine a beautiful dress, a beautiful dress or shirts. In fact, I can see our John Scott in a shirt like this. Can you? Even just having something as the body color of this and then hints of this fabric, just getting half a meter just the collar or just your placket or just your pockets patch pockets look absolutely lovely or just a strap on a bag we've got rebecca reed on later i wonder if she's personalized her cardigan today i know how much she loved this earlier we were going through it with alice and marion as well she loved this reminded her of cape actually it is so beautiful everyone who we've shown i mean don't get me wrong me and cat are kind of acting like it's our collection, the way that we're like, look at this, look at this. Kat said, if I were to design a fabric collection, this is what it would be. This is what it would look like. This is what you'd hope it would look like. The colors are absolutely beautiful. Natalie, they're not, it's not a bundle. It's not a complimentary bundle. We've just put together 
colours, Kat's physically got all of the solids out and put together ones that she thought matched in with it. So um, it is a lovely bundle, isn't it? It would be a great bundle. It's not a official bundle, they're by half metres. In there, you have got, I can tell you what colours you've got, white, teal, raspberry, jade, navy, lime. What's the blue called? Copen. And what's the green fur? And fur. They're all on the website. What we've done is we've ran all the graphics through, so you'll be able to see all of them on the website under the watch uh, under the watch live section. If you want to see any with them, though, Natalie, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, okay, let's do another one. I'm going to go for the. Uh, I'm going to say clovers. What are they called? Yeah, they're like clovers. Yeah. This is the solstice, solstice clover. Um, oh, Sally Kelly, I must say, we are in awe, in awe of your collection. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Sally Kelly's worked in conjunction with Wyndham Fabrics and every single one of these is beautiful, beautiful quality, isn't it? Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it, actually? This would be nice in those storage boxes. This would be really nice for um, for the, the bucket baskets that we've just seen. Absolutely. Elizabeth said, perhaps the fact that you can't get tickets is the, earth of a, the universe way of saying you're applying for the wrong thing. Find a way to get on stage, Vicky Carroll. Yes, Elizabeth. I was thinking, oh, I'm not meant to go to festivals. I'd love to go. And then actually, yeah, maybe I need to find a way of getting on the stage. How do I do that? I think they're quite hot on just running on the stage, aren't they? How can I do it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've, I've tried. In fact, my <laughs> I know how to do it. One of my friends, and I, you might have actually seen him all over the news over the last few days, because he, I know, yeah, he's, he had a couple of drinks on Christmas Eve and he's legally changed his name to Celine Dion. And it's gone, it's, it's gone, I saw that. It's gone literally everywhere to the fact that he's on all this American tele, he's everywhere. So maybe I used Celine Dion, my good friend Celine Dion, as a way to get onto Glastonbury stage. Do you reckon that's, a, that's probably my way in? <laughs> yeah, I, well, Kat said to me, Vic, why don't you change your name to John Scott and then that's gonna get obviously huge publicity. <laughs> Um, right, let's go. S M U I 13, please. Oh, this again. Right, this one's called Camilla on Pink. It's so pretty. We saw it earlier on in the this one, um, in those sort of uh, turquoise colours. Isn't that lovely? In this colour, though, again, looks completely different. Here's you've got you've got more sort of greys and lilacs. You've got that deep navy blue. I would again put this with my navy background. Oh, see those ochres again look really gold, don't they? That looks very classy indeed. Oh, I'm so pleased you love them. I love them as well. Oh, isn't it amazing? Oh, it's so different. It's so, so vibrant. It's just 749 half metre. Loads of these are now incredibly limited. I'm so sorry, Chris, that you missed the bucket. I know, we um, definitely need more than, of those. We'll look into getting more of them, fingers crossed, uh, so keep your eyes peeled. It's because we'd had it on pre-order, you see, so um, we tried to make it as fair as possible um, that everybody had a chance at it. So I'm sorry that you missed out, but we will, fingers crossed, be getting more of those. Uh, let's go for this one. I'm just picking it on my face. This is EGUI92. I can't, I, I mean, that one's amazing as well. The large scale print. This is more of your ditzy. Have you got a favorite yet? I know, I'm the same. I keep changing my mind. I keep thinking, oh yeah, that's my favourite. And then thinking, actually, do you know what? This one's so pretty as well. Oh, I love those golds. The pinks, right, this one I would put with me, uh, with raspberry, not magenta. That's raspberry. Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? 
especially yeah with the bucket bags or the rosemary bags that we had if you've got any of the the um the, the books that we've got a book coming up the half yard kids debbie shaw book coming up there's so many great books out there wendy gardner books in with a nice gray yeah there's almost like these sort of lavendery greys in there, like steely blue greys. They're beautiful. Uh, next one, next one, next one. <laughs> Sorry to make you jump. I was just indulging in and I have to remember where I am. All right, let's do this one. It's almost like the paisley print. Uh, it's, it's not your traditional paisley print though. Do you need the code for this? You know it already. Look at this. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is festivals. This is summer 2021. Yes, we're going to have a good summer, aren't we? Please, 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 please. 7 pounds and 49 pence. Sally Kelly, who's the designer of this, she's teamed up with uh, Wyndham Fabrics. And look at that. I mean, the colours, again, are absolutely amazing. Oh, amazing. Have a look on, um, what website is this? Have a look on, uh, I think it might even be on her web website. If you, um, if you, re if you do have a look at uh, Sally Kelly, you'll be able to see lots about her as the designer. I think it's the first time that we've had Sally Kelly fabrics in. And I must say, it's anything more like this, we need to get more, don't we? Because they are absolutely beautiful. I'm thinking of big bean bags or cushions for in the garden. These would be amazing for, for barbecue and, and, um, and, and big cushions for your garden. Just seven pounds and 49 pence. Quilting weight cotton uh, for just 7.49. Um, once again, you think that's probably gonna be the flagship fabric, isn't it? It's the large scale print, all of those colors. And then you have a look at one of the meadow fabrics. Do we have this one, TDUI 80? Um, Oh, we did, didn't we? We did do that one. We've got it in navy blue and we've also got it in like a, more of a teal. This is Y-E-U-I-05. We've got this one. This one, let me just show you so you can see. This one has sold out. It's available in the Mega Bundle, but half the stock of the Mega Bundle has gone as well. If you do want all of these fabrics, I mean, they're all absolutely amazing. It's 157.29 and it's available on Split Pay. Grab it whilst you can on Split Pay, 52 pounds and 43 pence. Um, the JD Blue one sold out, but we've got Y-E-U-I-05 up next, which is the deep navy blue with those wild flowers. Wild flowers like this are really in vogue for weddings at the moment, aren't they? Um, lots of my friends have had their, uh, honestly, I feel so sorry for them, they've had their wedding postponed three or four times like, already. Oh, it's just horrible. But I've been, I've, I've been trying to help them and looking at different options of, of different things to make and different ways of, um, you know, trying to save money everywhere, here, there and everywhere. And wildflowers are so in vogue. They're really, really popular for, for weddings this year. Um, but I absolutely love this print. I think this would make a beautiful dress for an occasion, wouldn't it? This would be really, really smart indeed. And you've got the greens, you've got the deep navy blues. You've still got that pop of raspberry. So if you wanted to, to make it even brighter for a special occasion and accessorise with this sort of colour, your raspberry, maybe make a bag with this fabric, it would look amazing. The rosemary bag would be a nice occasion bag, actually. Oh, I'm so pleased you love this as much as I do, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Seven pounds and 49 pence a half metre. I'm hoping that everybody who wanted to get married is, is all gonna be able to, to do it this year. This, we're still having, I'm seeing it lots of weddings and they're all moving again to next year from um, April and May and, oh, it's just awful. Uh, right, we've also got 
Well, we've got Elliot's wedding to look forward to, haven't we? That's going to be our next big shindig. 0HUI54. He's not proposed yet, but... But we're, we're, pl we're planning it. Now he's with all the girls. We're planning the wedding for him anyway. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Look at this. I love this fabric. Navy blues. Those, oh, they're like spearminty greens, aren't they? I love that green. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. It must be really difficult picking out complementary fabrics for this, actually. Kat's done a grand job because there's so many different colours. I mean, these pastel sort of lilacs and spearmints and yellows, it's, that's something that um, I, I don't actually know what I'd put them with. I'm going to go back to my jade, aren't I? I absolutely love them, though. That is... Right, I think I've got a new favourite. I think that's my fave. I love this. I love the scale of print. I love all the colours. You could still tone it down with a navy blue if you wanted, but the brights are gorgeous. 749, it's 112 wide, quilting weight cotton for under eight pounds a half metre, which is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Loads of you have got this one in your basket. If you have got anything in your basket, please watch out because we have got lines selling out left, right and centre. Um, we've also got the other big paisley print. Uh, which is in the blue. This one. Um, it's XPUI 93 cat. <gasps> it's almost got like a denim blue background. In fact, those of you that were buying denim um, from the last hour, this would look lovely in the bucket bag. It's got that paisley print. Where's the smiley faces? Oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's a scary, that's a scary smiley face. Look at all his teeth. He's got a cool quiff though, hasn't he? He's got like a, um, like a grease star, a bit Elvis quiff. Oh no, I can't unsee that now, I'm gonna move it. Oh no, it's still there. <laughs> Do you know when you can't see things? Yesterday, someone put on the on the page about the um, about the pencil case with the, the 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 pens that we had hanging out of the pencil case looked like a, a hand coming out of it, and I couldn't unsee that. As soon as I read the comment, I was like, "Yeah, it does look like a hand." And then I couldn't not see. I couldn't see pens. I could just see a hand. And now I'm just going to see crazy, creepy faces. <laughs> And I love this print. I love this print. <laughs> it's so strange. I didn't see that at all on the other one. Where's the other one? Let's see. Emma, what have you done to us? Right, I'm just going to put this here just because I want to see if we can see the, big, the, the face on this. Yeah, you can. That's the, that's the same face, isn't it? It's not as... It's not as Right, so that's both of the large scale prints. Um, right, don't forget about the mega bundle. There's a lot of people who are um, who are checking out on it. All oh, cats, there's a lot in baskets as well. Um, remember, you're getting half a meter for free on that whole mega bundle. I'm going to go back to some uh, clovers. This is with the navy blue. I'm not calling the mixers. They are all standalone fabrics, absolutely. This you could put with your lime green, or you could put it with your teal. You've got your navy blue you could put it with. Oh yeah, this would look amazing as one of our Mark's twillies. Emma still thinks we're having her on, doesn't she? She still thinks we're having her on. Mark wears these lovely, they're not like cravats and they're not ties, they're in the middle of that. They're like a beautiful sort of bow. It's called a twilly. Pardon? Clive's on tomorrow. Clive is here tomorrow. Um, we've got that lovely teal background. Seven pounds and 49 a half metre. We're whizzing through all these, aren't we? What we want to do, we want to make sure that we show you all of these prints and then we can go back over and do all of your requests, of course, and see what is available uh, because I think this is going to be a collection that is on and gone today. What's that? 
Um, can we do this one? This is really pretty. Lovely oranges and, and yellows. It's called Buttercup, Don't Break My Heart. I don't think I'm ready for Glastonbury yet, do you? <gasps> Not for the main stage. 7.49. Who did you see at, who did you see at, um, at Glastonbury then, Emma? Who was on? Lionel Richie, oh my word. I love Lionel Richie. I did see Lionel Richie once for my 16th birthday. That was all I wanted was to go and see Lionel Richie and I got tickets to see Lionel Richie and it was amazing. And um, I don't think there was anybody else who was celebrating their 16th birthday watching Lionel Richie, but I loved it, thoroughly loved it. Um, this is so pretty. Oh, in fact, I'm going for it again. It goes with everything. It's these lovely jades that are coming through. I'd put it with jade. This is uh, little dresses for cats. Little dresses, summer dresses, tea dresses. You could have a skirt or a blouse. It doesn't need to be children's, absolutely not. Isn't it really pretty? Just seven pounds, 49 and a half meter, 100% cotton. It's so silky soft. And it's your chance to now buy, buy the half meter. So we sell in half meter increments. If you do want to, uh, to multi-buy, then we'll cut it off the bolt for you to whatever size you want. So if you are buying the Mega Bundle, it comes as pre-cut half metres. Um, but if you're buying uh, individual fabrics and you want, say, three metres for a dress, then you need to add six units to your order. Even though it's a quilting weight cotton, it's still suitable for bag making, for toy making, for dress making. Um, it's just, we'll have a bit more structure. It's a really, really beautiful, beautiful quality fabric. 749, a half metre. We also have a couple of the other clover colourways. We'll do those next. Mauve and in line. This is in mauve. I always like lavenders and purples. I think it's, um, well, it's the colour of creativity, isn't it? Purple is the colour of creativity. It's such a beautiful, it's, it's, it's almost like a Palmer Violet purple, this one is. It's quite a subtle purple. And then mixed with these sporadic golds and pinks. Oh, do you know what? You haven't put a gold in, have you? This would look nice with a gold solid. Yeah. Seven pounds, 49. It's quite different, isn't it, from the rest of the collection? It's quite different. If you don't want a really quite, um, don't get me wrong, they will all work together really well. It's like when you see Liberties or Caves and they're all together. Sometimes collections, they can all be quite similar prints, whereas this, every single one is standalone. Every single one could be a flagship fabric, couldn't it, really? You're going to be able to make so many different varieties of of projects, whether it be home wares or dressmaking for quilts. They've got different scales of print if you are thinking quilting as well. But it's still not going to be overwhelming. You know when you sometimes you see a K-Facet quilt and if you used to see all the fabric together, you would go, that would be too busy, too much, too bright. But actually, all together, it works really, 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 really well. In fact, some of these, they would be amazing for Delphine's applique projects. Wouldn't they? Duffy's back on Sunday. I'm not here on Sunday. Um, you've got, I think, oh, you've got Wendy Gardner on Sunday. Wendy Gardner Sunday, um, which would be lovely. It would be lovely. I have been hogging Delphine, haven't I, for the last few months. So I've got to share her. I've got to share her out a bit. Um, this one is SYUI37. This reminds me of Tula Pink, uh, the Tula Pink range. I think she did the Under the Sea range, that beautiful, oh. Yeah. It reminds, it reminds the, uh, the girls in the gallery of Moana, being under the sea. Seven pounds, 49. A half metre. <laughs> that deep blue background really makes your, your patterns pop, doesn't it? Having that nice, and it's not black, it's a, a, a deep navy midnight blue. In fact, let me show you. 
I'd definitely get some of the navy because I think that the navy is going to go really, really well with all of them. Navy's always super popular, isn't it? Always super popular. Very glad that we had the navy in stock today because quite often this is um, this is one that a lot of people stock up on and it, it disappears. It's only three three forty nine. There it is, three forty nine half meter for your navy. And it, it will work again. They're, they're both the same quilting weight cottons, so they'd be lovely together. Uh, right, let's do the other lime lime clover, please. What was that, Emma? Sorry, Kat's just talking all the time, isn't she? I can't remember. We've got one, two, three, four. Four more. And then we've got the Mega Bundle. Remember, don't forget you can still get the Mega Bundle. This is your lime green. <laughs> Sorry, Kat. She's just... <laughs> She can't stop singing. She has had a lot of sugar this morning. Two oranges, natural sugars, two cornflake cakes. She's had a Weetabix. Have you had coffee this morning? Okay, she's only halfway through her first coffee. Okay. But this is why she's singing constantly. Poor Emma is like, right, can we have her Hannah back, please? <laughs> You've got your lime greens. Are they little hearts as well in the background? So you've got your, um, your clovers, but then you've also got all of these beautiful hearts as well. You're thinking of a sage green. Sage green would look nice with it, actually. Or an olive green. That's really nice for the storage bag boxes, isn't it, actually? I want to make some of those... Um, one of some of those baskets when we uh, when we get them back in stock, the pattern back in stock. I'm going to make some of those. They're lovely, aren't they? Seven pounds forty nine a half meter. And as I say, it isn't um, a, a mixer or a blender fabric, but this one is going to almost tone down some of the the, the busier scale prints if you do want to mix it in without having a solid. Still stands alone though, doesn't it? Three more, three more, three more. Um, right, I've got lime, ochre, whichever ones you want. Let's go this one. Um, this one. This is W A. Yeah, buttercup. Right now, it's called ochre. I would actually say this is more peach. I'd say that this is more um, oranges and peaches as opposed to ochre. Ochre is more of a, isn't it more of like a golden yellow tone? There are some golden yellow tones in there, but um, yeah. Ah, right. You have to get really, really close to see that it isn't a peach background, it's a gold background. Oh, look at that. Seven pounds and 49. So you can see your background is like the gold and then you've also got all of your peaches. Keep going, keep going. Oh my word, yeah, so can you see? You've got the ochre but then you've also got your peaches and you've got your raspberries. Let me put my finger in for scale. Oh, right, I don't know how I've done this. I've got three paper cuts. I've, I've got three paper cuts that have randomly appeared. And I, I, normally you notice when you've, you've got a paper cut, don't you? That they're ever so sore, ever so sore. Sorry about that. From a distance, it's, it's completely different, isn't it? Completely different. We thought it had like a, a peach background, but actually it does have more of a gold, gold background. That's really nice. What do you think about this um, uh, lovely sort of, it isn't a red, it's more of a raspberry. Raspberry colour. Just 7.49 and a half metre. I can see you in there today. Right, we're nearly at the end of the Solstice collection. Brand new in today. Right, less than 10 of the Mega Bundles left. 
less than 10 of the mega bundle i know a lot of people are probably waiting to see the whole collection but there's a lot of you that have got it in your basket 157 pounds and 29 pence and you get half a meter for free also on split pay 52 pounds and 43 pence uh, and that is over three split payments um three payments interest free you'll be able to get everything home within the next week within the next few days and get sewing with it all how good is that how are you feeling you're right um oh finally <laughs> she's finally yes she says oh i think i'm crashing a bit now <laughs> She says, I can't, I can't help it. I'm just too excited about the fabric. We've got Jules's amazing project coming up at 11 o'clock as well. Um, just seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. The green, so this is your lime. Would you put this with the lime? Lime colour. Cat's thinking I'd put it with blue. Right, I'm going for it again. I'm sorry, guys. It's literally exactly the same colour as your jade, isn't it? Oh yeah, remember the bag? These prints were very, very similar to this bag that Kat really, really wanted. How much was it? £129 for a tote bag. And she was like, oh, I just can't justify it. And then I think it went into the sale, didn't it? £99, she was like, I'm really tempted to do it. And then they did a giveaway on Instagram. So yeah, Kat then tagged me, you know, sometimes you have to tag and then share and do all this. So I thought she really wants this bag, doesn't she? She's now doing the giveaway competition. In fact, you could get a metre of this fabric. You wouldn't even need that really, would you? Um, but you could odour coat it. You could do a beautiful shopper bag with this, couldn't you? You could even line it. You could even line it with the, um, with the, with the peacock, with the jade colour. That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is what um, Kat thought when she first saw this collection. She was like, is that that designer that I've been following? Yeah, make your own. This is why a lot of people I know get into to dressmaking or, or, or get into bag making. It's from th seeing things and you think, do you know what? I'm going to use my skills and I'm going to be able to make that myself. Right, this is the very last one. Last one. And then we've seen the whole shebang. So get checking out on the Mega Bundle as well. Yeah, absolutely. Right, um, seven pounds, 49, a half meter. Is this an actual flower? Kat's asking what sort of flower. Even if you were to do fussy cutting, using them for buttons, they'd be so pretty, wouldn't they? For English paper piecing, you don't need to worry too much about um, you're always, of course, always going to be able to, uh, to get a print on smaller blocks. Pauline, if I'm being honest, I don't know the answer to your question. Look at your confused. Someone might be able to help you who's watching on the Watch Live or put it on the, um, on the, the fan page. I'm not sure. Um, who's on tomorrow? Clive. Clive's in tomorrow. Clive will probably be able to answer your question because he's a dressmaker. So, Pauline message back in tomorrow sorry i I'm, I'm not able to answer your question between the european bus size and the bus size patterns both in inches why do they differ i don't know i don't know which one is us i don't know please speak to clive tomorrow or ask on the fan page and i'm sure somebody will be able to to help you out the fan page is brilliant for that any time of day someone's there to help troubleshooting um okay all of the colors seven pounds 49 a half meter Elizabeth said she'd get me into Glastonbury. Where? I missed that message. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Yes. Right. It, 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 you can bring babies there. God, everyone brings their little children, don't they? That would be so nice. I would probably need a fancy tent though, Elizabeth. Can you help me up with that as well? <laughs> it's not the same, is it? It's not the same if you don't do Glastonbury without properly camping. Oh yeah. Oh, in a it would be good to do it in a camper van. If anybody knows anybody who's got a camper van, hasn't um, Delphine got a camper van? Maybe Elizabeth. You'll have a great time with me and Delphine if you can get us in in the camper van. I promise we're really fun. <laughs> Seven pounds forty nine a half meter. Right. 
We've done it. Can you believe it? Imagine when you receive, especially if you get the whole mega bundle, it would be absolutely incredible. Oh, they're all gorgeous. They're all absolutely gorgeous. So let's have a look. All of these mega bundle. There it is, 157 and 29 pence. We've got less than five remaining. It is brand new today. You can still make the most of that mega bundle if you want the whole shebang. It's the only way of getting all of these fabrics because some have sold out by the half meter. So if you do want every single one of these prints, the only way of getting it now is in the mega bundle, 157.29. But of course, remember, you've also got your split pay option of 52 pounds and 43 pence. Do you know what I'm like? Which one I'm gonna pick at? The one that I think goes the most with everything, I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna go this one. If I was gonna pick a, a few that I would definitely get, this one, this one, and this one. Your three solids. And that's gonna mean it goes such a long way. Jade, navy, and raspberry. What do you think? There you go. They do go really well, don't they? Thank you. I mean, all of your colours, you've done the picking. You could go for the teal as well. I think the white is quite stark, if I'm honest. Can't say I put it in just as a bit of a curveball. I think, and, and, a, and a mixer, but it, it will go, don't get me wrong. If you wanted to do a white background with some of these lovely, um, I mean, these sold out so quick. But if you do want to mix them in, they would they would work with white. But I'm actually thinking some of these richer, deeper tones, that teal as well, they all look really beautiful. Have a look on the website because all of the colours that Kat's put as complementary, um, they all go really, really well. The whole mega bundle though, we've now got less than five remaining. If you do want that whole collection, I know all of the scheduling team have been fighting over um, all of the fabrics for different kits, for different bundles. I'm really excited to be able to see them as well in, um, in a quilt project. They're gonna be amazing in kits, aren't they? They really, really are. But now is your chance to be able to get them um, by the half meter on the website or in your mega bundle. Uh, right. Okay, what an exciting show. I told you it was going to be amazing. Um, I've been talking about this for ages. Well, it feels like ages. Right, we've got Jules coming back up on the other side with her brand new tiger pattern. We absolutely love this. Lion, not a tiger. It's a lion, isn't it? Look, it's mane. It's amazing. Um, and we've got beautiful kits as well. Two bundles. Uh, and of course the book, it's from a Debbie Shaw book, the Half Yard Kids book. Have a look on pre-order. Um, do not go anywhere. And of course, don't forget at 12 o'clock as well, Rebecca Reed's going to be joining me for Yarn Lane. Uh, it's going to be a busy, busy couple of hours. So stay where you are. In fact, do you know what? I say it's going to be a busy couple of hours. You've got to stay put till five o'clock today because we've also got to support John Scott. It's his first show on Jewelry Maker this afternoon. So you can stay tuned for that at one o'clock as well. Uh, right, Jules is coming up with me. Don't go anywhere. We're back with more kits right after this. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. 
Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Hi, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. Okay, I got into sewing through my grandma. I used to sit and watch her, um, she was a dressmaker. And I started off making toys and then I was dressmaking myself. And from then I've done homeware and children's wear and all sorts of different things in between. Um, I would say my top tip is to be kind to yourself. It's only fabric at the end of the day, and if things do go wrong, then you've always got your quick on pick. My claim to fame is that in 2012, I was a VIP driver with the Olympics, and I met some really interesting people who were very nice, and I'm hoping that I'll meet some very interesting and nice people on Sewing Street too. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, welcome back to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. We've got a couple of hours of... <laughs> Jules is just so happy, by the way. She's just been trying... She was like, don't come back to me. I'm trying to thread the needle. She's just gone, oh, I'm done. I'm done, done it, done it, everyone, done it. Um, there is a needle thread on the 580 now, Jules. <laughs> Kat says, I oh, know, it scares me too. I never, I never no, use mine. I did, in the green room, I did it with the needle threader. Yeah. And I've just, I don't know, I'm just panicking. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Right, shall we start with having a good look at this book? It's a Debbie Shaw book. Not being biased, but isn't she the best? It's a Debbie Shaw book. Right, so this is Half Yard Kit. Um, right, this is, these are made for children, but they are for sewers of all abilities. So if you wanna get children sewing as well, these are really fun. So in this book, bear in mind you know how much you pay for patterns, this is, Sorry, so I don't get my nose in. Look, I just realised my end of my nose was in the shot then, sorry. <laughs> £9.99. You've got 20 projects here. 20 projects. So, should we have a look and a dive in? Oh, look, straight away. This is the project from today. And, oh, I know that Debbie Shaw has said that she had so much fun um doing the photographs for this uh for this for this book she says being with all the children they had so much fun playing with this yeah emma says right this is it i'm going to start making it so all the useful things everything that you're going to need um is at the front uh, before you start any uh, useful machine stitches or hand stitches that you might use throughout the book how to uh to put in zips how to make a square base, how to do your bias binding, how to apply the bias binding, how to cut into curves before you then start your projects. You've got a craft easel. How useful is this? A little crafting easel to be able to put all of your pens and bits and bobs, especially at the moment, you know, with lots of people homeschooling. These would be really lovely quick projects. Um, we've also got fish for fish. St ditch the crab. Do you know what I love about this? I used to have something like this when I was young. I remember it and it's, it was all plastic and we're thinking more about sustainability and using fabrics and eco-friendly and things you can chuck in the wash. These are brilliant to be able to make all of those nice little, um, nice little fishing games. That's a great game, isn't it? Oh, I love that. And it gives you all of the instructions, everything that you need step by step 
instructions of how to do it. With the sparkly PU, that would look amazing, wouldn't it? Um, you've also got the foxy drawing folder. See, these are all ones that you can adapt as well to, you know, in some of the different fabrics. Um, they're going to look completely different. We've also got some bunting in here, some Halloween bunting. Backpacks. Well, I love that it's, it's working with different fabrics. So you're working with felt, you're working with cotton, we're working with PUs, we're working with different... Um, we're working with different bag furniture like zips. We're learning different techniques. It isn't a bag book. It's got lots of different bits and bobs, but you're still learning lots of great techniques that are transferable skills. How cute are these? Little skittles, monkey skittles with the little bow ties. Hot water bottle, hot water bottle cover. Thank you ever so much, Elliot. You've got a patchwork ball in here, working with felt, witch's hats, pillow pal. Oh, that's adorable as well, isn't it? Your pillow pal, I like that a lot. Little outfits, your little pirate as well. Cube tidy, chair pockets porthole curtains. There's so many projects in here. It just goes on and on, doesn't it? You put your pyjamas, a pyjama eater. All very clear instructions as always from Debbie Shaw as well. Shoe bags. And then here we go. Roaring storing. A pencil case with your lion's mouth. Um, that's such a good, fun project, isn't it? I love that. Um, you've got a kite wall hanging. There's still a little cam uh, caddies. We're not just sending, you know, one pattern from this for $9.99. You get all 20 patterns from Debbie Shaw. Uh, Debbie Shaw book with templates that you're going to need at the back there. But, uh, of course, really clear laid out instructions. So, this is the project we're looking at today. You will need the book individually for your instructions, but you do have lots of projects in the book, 20 different projects for all sewing abilities. You're going to learn so much from our Debbie Shaw and of course, today's show as well, we're going to break down all of the key elements and, uh, and try and make as much as we can. So, the two bundles that we've got, we've got the paprika colour. Um, so this one comes with half a metre of paprika, half a metre of your brunette, you also get some felt for his nose and eyes. And then you also get your skeins to be able to do uh, all, all of the little face, face features. I'm thinking, actually, you don't use the felt. That's the eyes, isn't it? So you do the, um, you just embroider the eyes on. Uh, and then, so you get plenty of skeins for your stash and you get a whole ball of yarn. Amazing. You mariner yarn as well. It's really lovely quality, isn't it? really lovely quality uh, and that's to make your lovely pencil case amazing it's brilliant isn't it and then we also have another colorway we've got the red is this one. Oh yeah sorry it is orange so this is exactly the one that Jaws has used so you've got the orange for the outer you've got the red for the lining you've got your um, double knit mariner yarn for his mane. You obviously won't use all of that for that. Um, and then you've also got your felt and your skeins. So much there for $12.99. Gosh, what a brilliant price. Brilliant price. Um, $9.99 for your book as well. I know lots of you have already got the book, so um, that's why we didn't bundle it all together. But if you do want to have a go at a really nice, fun project, whether you're getting children sewing as well, this is ideal, isn't it? Had a, a picture come in from Jill. Hi, Jill. Jill's done um, one of the the uh, one of the designs from the book. She said, "Morning, Vicky, Jules, and team. This is the pirate cushion that I made for my grandson Leo from Debbie's book. There's some great projects in there. That's so good, isn't it? I love these pillow pals. They're so cool, Jill. Um, and again, do you know what? You've got the orange from this bundle. You've got different fabrics. So even though we're saying we're making this today, you could always try one of the other projects." using this kit. Um, who's asked? Wilma, we're all going to be tuning in at one o'clock to watch John. He's on at one till five today. 
one till five if you want to watch him on Jewelry Maker. We'll all be, in fact, if you're watching on Freeview, you stay where you are um, and it will change straight automatically. On Sky, it's 674 or you can go to their website if you want to watch Jewelry Maker. So um, yeah, at one o'clock today, we'll all be tuning in to support our job. Okay, so Jules, this is such a fun project, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. I love and it. Um, like you were saying, you could actually get a child, you know, with encouragement to do this. Yeah. It, it's not horrendously difficult, really. You just and with Debbie's books, there are always written instructions and photographed instructions. So it, it doesn't matter how you're learning; you, you'll kind of be able to do it. So yeah, some great transferable stuff. skills mm. in this book, aren't there? Yeah, lots yeah. of projects. And actually, with the kit. You could probably pick out a couple of the other ones as well. And oh yeah, go. there's loads of material left, really is. Um, I mean, I've, I did the sample and the demo out of the half meter that I got. So oh, nice. Yeah, brilliant. Have more. And um, you probably, from this morning's uh, basket, you probably have some of the H640 left to use oh, okay. as well. Yeah. Perfect. Right, so where do we start then? I absolutely love him. Yeah, it's cool, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing is, <laughs> is to raid your kitchen as Debbie usually does for her plates. Yeah. <laughs> so you need some circles, that's okay. all. So you'll have two circles out of your orange or whichever one you want to use on the other one. I think it probably would be the paprika, wouldn't it? Uh, you want two circles of the main fabric and two of your lining fabric. So whether it's the red or whether it's the, I don't know what the other colour was, or was it brown? Um, yeah, Maybe like a paprika color. and a brown, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you'll and then also... And the same size circles this Yes. Time. Um, so we are doing eight inch circles. So you could always use your Fiskars cutter if you wanted to and do your eight inch. Cutters. They're brilliant. That's easy. Circles aren't easy to cut, are they really? You've got to have a template of, of some sort. Yeah. Um, there isn't a template as so, such in the book, but that's because we've got other things that we yeah. can use like a plate or, yeah. or your circle cutter. So eight inches is what you want to cross. Uh, you want two of the outer, two of the inner, and also two of your lining. Um, so whether it's the H640 or whether you're going to use a stitching. I found it quite useful on this particular project to have an iron on one. Okay. Because you're going to be cutting across this and inserting a zip. And it just means it's less to, to kind of wriggle around, really. So, nice. if so you the use H640 your, is Yeah, best. or you can use your 505 and, and stick it on if you want to do, if you've got a sew in. Uh, but you, you want it to be there rather than to be wiggly around, really. Okay. And then you'll cut out um, four of the ear pieces. So with this, you're actually told to cut some triangles and then curve the triangles. So it gives you all the dimensions in the book. So you will want four of these and then two... Um, of the lining pieces, so the H640 of the same shape. So what I would say is when you're cutting them, cut your triangles first of all, pile them all up and then cut around it to make your curves, otherwise they'll look a little bit odd. Okay. At least keep them paired. Yeah. Um, so that makes it easier. And then also a triangle of the felt. If you see how much felt you've got, you'll be making lots of noses. There's, <laughs> there's lots and lots there. So, I mean, you only need one nose, this project, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So you've got plenty got of felt masses. there, haven't you? Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. And Loads so you could, if you wanted to, you could use that for the eyes, like you were saying in the beginning, or um, I sewed it with the um, embroidered cotton on there. Uh, you could put buttons on there if you want to, but obviously oh, yeah. you've just got to be aware of child's age and having them of in course. the mouth and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you can you can embellish it as, as you want to, really. Oh, lovely. So those are all your bits and pieces. So the first thing that you do is you mark up one of the outer pieces, and this will be your front. So um, in the book you'll see on here you probably see it a little bit better on here there's a triangle for where your nose will be positioned and then the line that goes across here is marked up from the base of your circle by about three inches so what I would do is I would fold your circle in two decide where the base point is so pop a pin in there just so that you've got a reference point and then once you've done that because obviously a circle is curved Measure up three inches from there. Oh, I've got my opposite way around. Uh, measure up your three inches from the base of the circle and then draw your line across. 
so that you've got it consistently at three inches. Right. And then just draw freehand your nose and your, um, it's kind of the little, I don't know what they call it, fulcrum or something, I think they call it. Some, fulcrum? I don't know if it's a fulcrum or something. It's, it's, it begins with F and I can't remember what it is. But anyway, that, that kind of line. Um, you draw that up to the base of your triangle and then draw your triangle and position where your eyes are, just for reference really, you don't have to be exact on that, but that um, just gives you a bit of an idea. And then the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to cut across this line. Now you'll be doing that with the front and also the lining of the front. So I think it's easier, although uh, on here it's in two separate steps, I just think it's easier to have the whole lot together and then cut it across because you'll keep it in true better. And you can either cut it across with your scissors or you can cut it across with a rotary cutter. It's entirely up to you. Um, I prefer rotary cutters just because um, I Ease. wiggle with scissors. <laughs> Ease, it is easy. It is, I find yeah. you get so nice I'll... clean cuts, don't you, with your rotary yeah. cutter. There we go. So that's both of them done together. And then you're not worrying, having to measure again for your lining and all the rest of it. So put your line into one side for a second because you don't need that just yet. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, zipper the mouth. So uh, the zip that we've got is a nylon zip. And for preference, have a nylon zip rather than a metal zip because we yeah. want to cut through it. Right. So, yeah, the zip, I mean, this is a really long zip, so you would want to shorten it. Um, and, and you can sew over these. Yes. Metal zips, I know, uh, a bit more of a It'll problem. It'll break your needle. Yeah. Because, yeah. So just be aware. If you've got, have a look on, if you've got anything in your stash, just check it's a plastic one uh, it's a 30 centimeter or 12 inch zip it's only one pound 99 if you do want to add the cream to your order it will go with both colorways so what we're going to do is we're going to stitch the zip right side to start off the mouth here um, so the right side of your zip is where your pull is at the top um, at the front rather not at the top so this piece needs to be up and that's the right side that's the back side as it were so you want that right side to right side and I'm going to position it so that the zip is in the middle and I'm ignoring about uh, ignoring the ends. Um, the only thing that you've just got to remember is when you're stitching things together, the two things together, if you stitched it now you wouldn't be able to open anything. Okay. You just need to make sure that when you do stitch it the zip pull is uh, in the body of the work. All right so I normally would use a glue pen mm -hmm. along there just to anchor it down, um, which I haven't got a glue pen today. I think we've sold out, haven't oh, we? apart no. from the refills. Um. So just put clips on just to hold it steady. You'll be taking them out quickly, but just to hold it steady. Um, and you can, if you want to, you can put a zipper foot on your machine. Um, if you've got one of the modern machines, you don't necessarily need to put a zipper foot on because um, you can move where the needle is. Oh, that's a so good point, actually. You fiddle around with that. But if just to be sure that you've got it the correct way around, just make sure that if you were, were to open it, so that's how it's going to be stitched, you've got the right side on the right side of your fabric. That's just an extra check for you to make before you start stitching. And then what you want to do is, if you're not going to use a zipper foot, you want the centre of your um, presser foot to run along the zip mm -hmm. and then you'll be stitching um, probably about an halfway between the, the zip and the edge of the zip. But the edge of the zip needs to run along the side of your fabric. So okay. the clips will keep that in place. So if clips, I go ahead remember, and... are still at an early bird price. I and remember that. Fab. Absolutely. Um, this machine, I mean, they are really quick and easy to be able to switch over to a zipper foot if needs be, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I can, let's, no, let's well, you do don't it. need, um, I'm... doesn't, I mean, it, it really, on these machines, all you're going to do is flip the back. That's it. And then pop the other one on. It is really So you nice can choose what you do. Uh, and then when you've got a zipper foot on, you're running the edge of the zipper foot alongside the zip. Uh, so you can go either side. So I would be 
stitching that side first. So right. it, it doesn't matter. I don't want to stitch that side first. I want to stitch the other side first. So I'm going to go back to my ordinary foot. But yeah, it's easy peasy to, to twitch, flip to around. switch between them. Um, it, you tend to find if, so for me, I'm doing all sorts of sewing. Um, I'm just lazy not swapping over to a zipper foot, <laughs> to be frank. Yeah. Because I know How that. How often do you change your needle, Jules? I change my needle quite frequently. So, oh, probably every big project. So, if I'm doing a quilt, you've got a new needle for the quilt. If I'm doing a. Um, sorry, I was just going to move that and I got talking. If I'm going to do um, just ordinary projects, so something like this, mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily change my needle for this if I've recently changed from a mm -hmm. quilt. So, but I would say I get about. I don't know. Eight hours of sewing, eight hours. -ish. Yeah, that is what they say, isn't yeah. it? So I'm just going to move my needle over. And you do that by. Uh, I mean, I didn't realise that you do that by changing the stitch width yes. on a straight stitch. Yes. So I've got this stitch. That makes sense. Uh, I'm going now. So you can go up and down as much as you want. So here, I've gone to. I've actually got it at six and a half. But it's on a 2.4 um, zip. I don't know what I've done there. I've messed around there. So just take your clips out as you go. And I've, I'm keeping... Oh, there we go. So what I did there was fiddled around with it too much. And I caught the end of my um, thread, oh, the top no. thread. So I've split the top thread. So fortunately, I'm not top stitching. Otherwise, I'd be a bit annoyed about that, and I'd but have to undo it. it, wouldn't I? But I'm gonna re-thread. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, we talk, so just so you know, <laughs> the main graphics is for the orange and red, which is the one that Jules has made the sample out of. You get half a meter of your orange, half a meter of your red. You get your yarn, your felt, and your embroidery skeins. That's a lot of yarn as well there, isn't it? Yeah, there's far more there's too than much. you need. Yeah. There's loads there. So if you do want to get into knitting as well, we've got Yarn Lane coming up next. Oh, for goodness um, Can you knit, Jules? I can. I don't do it very often, simply because I've got a bit of carpal tunnel. Um, and what I find is that I... Um, it, it puts a bit too much strain okay. on my hand. So right. I'm okay, I can knit. I'm, I mean, in the past I've knitted kind of jumpers and all sorts, but now I kind of limit myself to smaller projects. Yeah. Um, but that's just a me thing. Um, and as I say, years ago, I used to do like in my teens, sitting watching the television, I used to do quite a lot of knitting and crochet. But nowadays I don't do so much, um, partly because of it's not comfortable, yeah. but also partly because don't have, have time. time. <laughs> we keep you very busy with the sewing, don't we? We yeah. do take a pause. Which is sun. good. It's a nice thing, but it's, um, yeah, it can be a bit challenging on time when you've got other stuff that you're doing as well. Right, okay, so eventually we get part of a zip sewn in. Sorry about that. <laughs> right. So that's your first side done. Lovely. And then um, you are going to top stitch this. So the other thing that we want to do is we want to do the bottom edge of the mouth first. And we did both. We'll do both and then we'll top stitch over the top. So again, you want that's my right side and I want the right side of my zip to the right side. Now here, just kind of have a little bit of a think and make sure that the mouth continues on if you see what I mean um, the circle continues on Debbie's really clear with the photos though isn't yeah. she oh she's got a photographer hasn't she yes an in-house photographer is that I think they it. call them don't they yeah <laughs> right okay so we'll go and do the other side so same thing again not a breaking thread And it's quite nice because obviously you've cut a nice straight line and your zip's got a nice straight edge to it. So it should be 
fairly straightforward. Can you feel the teeth where you're sewing? Um, the teeth are under the middle. So bit. can so you, you feel can, it? Yeah, you can. You can also see it. All right. Uh, you can't obviously. Yeah, a, but you well, can't I don't know. Hope. You've got pretty good camera angles, but um, yeah, you can feel it more. Now this time I don't have to change where my zip is because I'm coming off towards it. The zip end. Hi Ange, we've got a nice message come through. Love Jules's demos. Thank you. She said you're so calm and confidence building. <laughs> uh, she said, random question, what is the best way of disposing needles and rotary blades, please? That's from Ange. Uh, yeah, I, well what I do is I make sure, um, you can put them in your recycle waste, but if you're going to do that, or if you're gonna just dispose of them anyway, just make sure that you've wrapped them up. I normally wrap them up in a newspaper or some sort of paper because yeah. obviously it's it's dangerous if you're yeah. not careful. If you've got if you work in a place where they've got a shops, shops bucket, yeah, we've got a shops. That's bucket, ideal. Right but otherwise, yeah, you can put them in regular stuff, but you need to make them safe first. Okay. So, or if you kind of stick them in a box or something like that, you can yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. But shop if you've got a shops bucket anywhere available, then that's really handy. Thanks, Ange. Good question. Good question. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're kind of at stage five still. We're going to top stitch to make it look along the lines of that. Sorry, there we go. So again, I'll need to move my needle a little bit more to my left now. So do you reduce your stitch or? So yeah, I'm going down the stitches now. I'm going yeah. down to, let's see, where does that go down to? Let's drop it down. I love this machine because you can do needle up, needle down and you don't affect anything. That's so I'm good. now at three, uh, and I'm still I've still got the edge of my presser foot along the middle of my um, um, zip. Just get onto the fabric. There we go. Just so you know, the book for twenty projects is just nine ninety nine. Fifty pence a project. Fifty pence, and there's so many different bags and pyjama bags, there's toys, there's gifts, such a variety of projects yeah. isn't there? And it's quite fun if you've got a little one just to get, give them the book and say what do you want, what yeah. shall we do for you? You know especially when you're kind of confined to barracks it's quite nice to be able to involve your little one and just say right okay what shall we do today you can help me do whatever it might be cut out or stitch this or you know draw the face learn how to do a bit of hand-eye coordination sewing the face on all that kind of stuff okay so got to the end and the advantage of having the zip a little bit too oh dear I've got a wiggly mouth the, the zip a little bit too long is that you I've kind of stitched all of that without having to fiddle around with moving anything oh, up good. and down yeah, so that's yeah. quite handy okay so let's stitch his face on so Show you've done the, the nose with the felt, and is that a blanket stitch around it? Um, I have done. I think I you know what did I do? Do I did I do a like a blanket stitch? stitch. It looks very I think neat. I did. It looks lovely. Yeah, I think I did. I mean, you can do that by hand or on the machine. Mm. I mean, if you want, we can do it on the machine. Let's see if we can find a blanket stitch. We can fiddle around on the machine. Oh, nice. Uh, mm -mm. Shillers also, could you make this um, in a fleece? I bet you, you could. could. Like yeah, a belt. You could, yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be lovely. A fluffy one. Um, Look at him, he's gorgeous. I'm going, for, I'm going for a different. You might as well go for it. You've got all those stitches. Have a play. There's, there's all sorts on here. I don't know what to choose. I don't know whether I want to just go a blanket stitch. I might go a different, oh, a different okay. one. Oh, there's a cross one. I will do a cross stitch. A cross. Uh, it looks like little kisses. Oh, right, lovely. okay, that's what Let's we'll have do. a go. So I'm positioning that. <laughs> I don't know what it'll look like when it's on. We'll have a go. <laughs> I'm positioning his nose onto there. At home, did you put a bit of glue pen? You got so long glue pen, or can you just literally? Yeah, you can pin it, or you can put. Um, I, I quite like my glue pen. Yeah, I have that quick, next to my clover. It? Yeah. See if I put that in there, I'll start it off, but I'll need to move the pin. Yeah. Maybe one of the smaller plique pins would be best because yeah. they're long pins. They're big, long, sharp pins, aren't they, Jules? Yeah, they are. They're, as I say, they're like devil pins. <laughs> right, okay, so... Uh, oh, this How's is that stitch looking? Yeah, yeah, looking good. So this is a half on, half off, if you know what I mean. So half is on the felt and half is on the um, orange. 
Let's move that just in case I'll go over the top of it. But yeah. It's like kids with new toys, isn't it? Oh, well done to everybody who got the 680. I've seen them on Facebook with their new boxes. Oh, really? Yeah. How exciting. Oh, I'll have to have a look. Yeah. Oh, I love that moment. New machine. How exciting is that? Um, the machine that George is working with, by the way, is the 580, which is the one down from the 680. It's less than a, a thousand pounds. And nice. actually, to look at, it looks virtually identical to the 680. It's got a few less stitches, a couple of, like, it doesn't have the walking foot with it compared to the 680. But, I mean, if you, if you aren't as fussed about having a walking foot or as many stitches, this is brilliant to say it's under a thousand pounds. It's exclusive to us at Sewing Street as well. We've got Jane Brogan here tomorrow from Elna, and so she'll be talking through lots of different Elna machines. The thing with the 680, I would say, is if you were umming and ahhing about it, don't wait too long, um, because tomorrow one is going to be manic. Uh, we've already had lots of you checking out on it today, um, every single day. I think it's because we've found out that we can still offer five-year warranty at the moment, in fact, until Sunday. So you've only got a couple of days with five-year warranty. It will then go to two-year warranty. So there you go. Oh, let's have a look at the kisses. It's, I've gone off a, a little bit of wobble, but you can see it. Oh, I love it. I like that. Yeah. So this is a good chance, isn't it, to play around with your oh, yeah. stitches, your applique stitches. Nice. So the next thing is we do the little black piece that goes up to the bottom of his nose and then his eyes. So if you take your embroidery thread, I've, um, I've got three strands, I think, here. Um, just give it a little knot. And so I'm going to backstitch from the bottom of the triangle, he says, not get in the bottom of the triangle, there we go. Um, so come up, go down. We give you a whole skein as well. Yeah, and a whole skein of white, and you literally are just doing... Is it for the white, to the eyes? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you amounts of stuff. Surely you have done your stash, but that's brilliant anyway, that you get it anyway. Yeah. Well, you can save that one, use the other one up, and then... I think, um, am I allowed to say sneaky peek? They're thinking of doing bushy eyebrows in the gallery. You could really <laughs> embellish, couldn't you? Yeah. Like you said, depending on the age of the child, you could put buttons as eyes or... Yeah. It's up to you. So, there we go. That's so this is this bit. little bit here. Yeah. The whatever it is called. Right, okay. You see, my needle's bent. My pencil but... case was named Suki. Aww. And Suki was real, a real bear, a real bear. And I mean, Suki went everywhere with us. My sister's a few years older than me, and she, when she was in, she was in hospital, and um, Suki went with her. My grandma oh. knitted outfits for Suki. I think you could really give yeah. this a, lot, a personality. Cat says I had the same. I had a pencil case, which was a cat, and I was so protective over it. it must be a thing. Gosh, I'll always remember I think it's Suki. Always and your early memories are the ones that stay with you, aren't they? Yeah. This would be lovely. How are you getting on with homeschooling? How are you feeling? Um, okay, they're getting such a lot of work. I know we've got to keep going and catch up, but I don't know whether we're getting more than we need to. Should I be saying that? That's a bit controversial, isn't it? I think, yeah, there's a lot of your work to do. Your daughter's in year seven, isn't she? Yeah, so maybe that's that's what it is. But um, yeah, that we're getting on okay. She's really good. She sits down and does her work. Oh, that's good. She keeps to her lesson times and everything. So yeah, I'm very fortunate. You're a good teacher. Um, I'm a bit, bit. Um, I like to um, be in charge. <laughs> <laughs> what was it you called me earlier, Elia? OCD? No, I don't think I'm quite that. I am, but you know what? I mean. But I, I like it when they um, achieve it. You know, you, you just kind of get that buzz that they've, they've really got it, and yeah. you know. But um, I'm very good at looking up things on search engines if I don't know, and then yeah. presenting it as if I knew oh, everything. Gosh. I can't believe that all of it. I totally have, must have must have learned it at school, but you almost just forget that all the amount of things that they're learning now and you're like yeah I'm sure I did that at A level <laughs> yeah year seven yeah. yeah so what I've done is I've just back stitched a circle so I'd, I'd drawn a circle before I've just back stitched the circle yeah and then I'll satin stitch so satin stitch is literally going from one side to the other and kind of like coloring in the space so you've already got your lines you're coloring inside it 
And because this is a small area, you can kind of go over and over and over. If it was a bigger area, you might go to one side, down, up, and then back to the other side, if you see what I mean. But because this is a small area, you, you don't have to think about that. Have we um, named him Leo, Leo oh. the Lion? Cat's thinking of using, she says, I've got some blue skeins at home. I'm going to give him blue eyes. Oh, bless. Yeah, you could. That's it. I think a lot of people are going to have real fun personalising them. Yeah. And then I've done, so I've done the black, but I've left a little bit here just so that you could see if you were going to do the white. I haven't got the white threaded up, but if you're going to do the white, you could just place the white into there. Oh, okay. And you can make him have some very strange expressions if you want. <laughs> what was the cross-eyed lion called? Was it Clarence? I don't you remember could, Clarence. Oh, it's years ago. It was on... Um, Clarence the Lion Cat remembers Clarence. Yeah. I remember the um, the Hair Bear Bunch. Oh, yes. Help, help. Do you remember that one? Yeah. <laughs> but there was a lion in that, wasn't there? There were the lion. There were three lions, weren't there? Were they all lions? I thought oh. there were bears. Oh, yeah. Help, help. Here come the bears. <laughs> it's kind of in the name, wasn't it? I swear there was a lion. <laughs> one of them looked very much like a lion. With the big hair. Yeah. The Hair Bear Bunch. Yeah. The Hair Lion. No. <laughs> Is it a hair lion or a sea lion? <laughs> Who knows? It's a lion. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the famous lions. Uh, Julie says, oh, I think the lion's eating hot dogs on the graphics. Where? Mm. Oh, um, oh, I don't know, actually. I was thinking, no, I don't know what you mean, Julie. Oh, I like that I pretended to go, oh yeah, I think I know yeah, what you mean, yeah, and then no. no, I don't know actually what you mean. <laughs> Not a clue. <laughs> Hi Alison, Alison Marion's watching. Hello. Right, okay, so that's the last bit. Um, the reason that you need to finish this bit off before you proceed is because you're going to put linings in. So you, you can't, well, you can get back at it, but you can't go all the way through. It's just a surface. So then, so if you wanted to make it so that it was very secure, you want to go all the way through the material. Um, if you see what I mean. Yeah. You don't want to lift it up um, halfway through. Alan says, uh, Alison said, um, Dactari. Dactari. Yes, Alison, that is, that was the one. <laughs> I think we've got to be a certain vintage to remember that, have we not? <laughs> but yes, you're correct. <laughs> Clarence. Before Clarence my time, thank the cross-eyed line was way before your time, Jules. Before my time, well done, thank you. <laughs> I'll take that. Anything I'll take. <laughs> <laughs> Like when you present with an 11 year old, people like on paper, you should be a lot different than you actually are in, <laughs> in the physical form. <laughs> so, right, it's a bit not quite as neat as you might do it um, because I've strung it across, but you know what? It's job done. So, just tying off the back. Right, there we are. Cute. So, he's, he's looking kind of nearly there so he's got a I suppose you could make them all into different animals as well couldn't you you've yeah. got different uh, scraps of fabric and different yarn yeah. and things you can make loads of different animals and you don't have to keep it to a single color do you you can no. make it in different colors absolutely okay so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the lining on the back of this mm -hmm. um so we'll turn it over Trim up a few bits um, they're on the first pic showing of what was what's on today. Oh, so the picture that you've got, Emma, I think. Does it look like he's got a hot dog? Oh, is it? Oh, is it the one that you can see on Jules's um, in, in the book? The hot dog. I don't know. Look there. No, it doesn't look like a hot dog, does it? <laughs> oh, it's, pe it's supposed to be pencils. <laughs> 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 Julie, we still don't know what you're on about. Right, so okay. you've got your so, lining fabrics yeah. now. So I'm lining up the lining with, so what I'm going to do is I want it to be like that. Ah, okay. So I don't want the raw edge onto the edge of the zip. So I'm lining up where the edges were in the first place. Right. So I've still got my zip edge there and I'm going to, stitch along there and then flip that back 
uh -huh. and then there'll be the other piece which I will so it's, it's slightly counterintuitive because you think it's it's gonna that's gonna live there but it won't it's gonna come back up here okay so let's do one piece at a time so again if you've got your um, glue pen that's quite useful because obviously we've got it in a, f a free space there Oh, Leslie, yeah, you can absolutely use buttons. Um, just depends on, like Jules was saying, what age of the child. Um, just, just from be a aware. kind of safety point of view. Yeah. But yeah, yeah absolutely, embellish away. You could use all sorts, couldn't you? Lots of haberdashery. So what have you changed your stitch to? Just move your needle over I've again. moved my needle over. Um, I've gone to seven this time. I've gone a little bit further over this time. Oh, you know what I've done? I've done a top stitch. I didn't need to do a top stitch. I've just realised <laughs> because that comes through. But anywho, if you wanted to do a top stitch, just reverse back. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep that out of the way. I've forgotten that we weren't doing top stitching. Right, okay. And on this one, again, you want to line it up so it's going that way and then across that way. Okay. And again, you wouldn't have done a top stitch. got carried away with my zip. Oh, so uh, this part creates your top stitch basically, so you didn't need to do that before? No. Extra work for yourself, but never mind. <laughs> Julie says, I think I need to have a, another coffee. She says, I, I thought it was on the Facebook pic, it looks like a hot dog. <laughs> or is she just hungry because it's nearly lunchtime? Maybe that's what it is. I saw the hand. Do you know the one on the Facebook page? Did you see everybody messaging saying, I can't unsee a hand coming out the mouth now? Look like oh. the way all the pencils were positioned. Oh, yes, yes. It did look like a yeah. hand coming yeah. out. <laughs> that, it, well, that one doesn't look as much like a hand, does it? That looks like Mark Pens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was, um, it was the pens that I was using. Because obviously, if, if um, yeah, I think it is. I think yeah. it is yours from home. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> so, um, what you're going to do now is just you want to make sure that you've um, sewn across this zip. Um, oh, so you don't lose your end, yeah, your zipper end. Yeah. So, I'm going to do it just outside. Um, and I'm going to use. Just and can you zip. stitch over this on yes. the machine? Yeah, you can. Over the teeth? Yeah. Because it's plastic. Okay. Um, and then I'll just go back. Now I stitched it quite close, so within the seam allowance, because I also want the seam to go over it, um, just to, to really secure that. But I've moved. I moved my zip pull. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do the other end as well because I think I'll be cutting through the end of that bit. Yeah, this is what you do if you're using um, a zip on a roll or if you're cutting down a zip just to yeah. make sure you don't lose your end. Just take it steady. That's the good thing about these machines as well is you can really slow your speed down, can't you? Right, okay. There we are. So we secured the ends as well. Sorry, that's me. We're going around with stuff. Alrighty, so uh, we are at, um, oh, here we go. Top stitch either side of the zip. So that's what I should top stitch. Anyway, it's top <laughs> stitch twice yeah. already. We're not doing any more top stitch, no. So now we're going to do the ears. So I've got... So this is, uh, you, you can see that's where I cut the circle out. So don't throw these little bits away. Mm -hmm. um, you so can there, use them you use those, the interfacing again, sorry, the uh, HX40. Yeah. yeah, I've used that inside. Fab. Um, so we're going to, so I've interfaced one side. I'm going to sew the other side on top and then we're going to trim it and turn it inside out and just top stitch it. Right. Uh, we'll do the same for both of this them. This is why you say it's good to be able to, um, to have the adhesive yeah adhesive on it because you don't need to stitch that down 
you've just ironed it on yeah. and now you're doing stitching. Go back to normal. Did you say 10 minutes? 10 minutes with your jaws. Ooh, 10 minutes. Okay, so this was a little bit of a curve. Stop at the point at the top. And then come back down. So I'll just trim all of that up and then we'll turn it through. I suppose it'd be a bit fiddly if you if you didn't um, have the H640 underneath. Do you know what I mean? If you are just stitching just your triangle, there's not yeah. that much fabric. So keep your H640 slightly larger. Yeah. And just so that you, you can manipulate things if you need to. So turn it through and just wiggle the end bit. You got your dobber. Yeah. <laughs> or any other implement that is two hand. <laughs> I don't want to go downstairs again, my knees, you know. <laughs> And then you'll be just top stitching around this. So if we do um, a little bit of hand pressing. Yeah, you've made the iron redundant today, haven't Sorry. you, Jules? Well, I'm just so lazy. At home, you would normally have things all set out, so you just go and you're doing it. But I'm saying up and down the stairs, it's a bit. <laughs> And then again, we're just going to secure it. So you would at home, you would press that nicely and get the bumps out at the top. I've got a little bump still, but um, so then, and if they come out a little bit quirky, that's actually quite nice. Really, you don't want everything to be necessarily uniform. Yeah, every uh, every line's different. Yeah, give them a bit of <laughs> well, they are when I do them. Give them a bit of personality. Oh, okay, someone's going to love this little lion. Honestly, I absolutely adore him. Both kits very very popular. We will recap before the end of the hour. Don't worry. So that's that one, and then the other one, same kind of thing. Make sure you know which way you've done your um, cutting. And you can make them bigger ears if you want to. Or I suppose you could change the animal yeah, if you absolutely. wanted to. You could make so them into chicks. You could do all sorts, couldn't you? Well, if you made them rounded ears, I suppose you could Cats. do things like, yeah, um, Whiskers. elephants. And, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Little bears, you can change the shape of the ears. Yeah. Little bear. I do like the wall though with the mane. It looks really nice. Now I have a little trick for that. Um, because you have to cut um, two inch lengths of your yarn. Um, and that's fine. But it's if you're cutting the whole lot, you want an easy way of doing it. So if you've made things like pom poms, you'll know how I'm Ooh. making this. Oh, that's good. It's, it's an idea on a pom pom kind of thing. I love making pom poms. Yeah, I haven't done it for years. I want to make more pom poms. They're really, they're good. really in on trend as well. Wicker so baskets with pom poms. Yeah. You could just use because you've got so much here. You could just oh, make a load of pom poms, couldn't definitely. you? Definitely. And if you've got, uh, I don't know if we've had it. We had it at some point. I don't know if Yon Leng have got it. The Clover pom pom maker. Oh, I think yeah. That, yeah. They are so easy. You can literally sit and make dozens in oh, minutes. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, they are Cause really Because you could good. put pom poms around your storage bags. You could. You know, what we made earlier. Yeah. Or have pom pom garlands. They're really expensive in the shops. Really expensive. Pom pom jewellery and all sorts. It's so yeah. popular. Pom pom storage bags. Oh, really expensive. I suppose it's because it is a bit labour intensive. So anything that's sort of labour intensive tends to be a bit more expensive, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm, I've got a. I haven't seen those pom pom makers. They um, they're like two halves that are joined together, and it's kind of a bit unusual because you use them 
not quite in the way that you think, but they're back to back, two half moons, mm. and you wind one, you wind the other, you seal it together, and then cut it through. I used to do it around card, yes. circle a card, and just wind it through, yeah. It's the same idea, it's just, it's easier. You don't have to keep cutting your card templates, because if you remember, you had to keep redoing yeah. them, didn't you? Okay, so that's, we've got two ears. So we'll have his face, and then we put the ears towards the nose. So kind of over his eyes-ish. And we'll, uh, actually I might pin it in. So I might just want to stay where they're going. Um, and then I used a long stitch, longer stitch, because you, you're basically tacking it, basting it across the top so that's not going to shift when you're doing the rest ah, of so it. Do that within your seam allowance? Yeah. Okay. We've got about five, four minutes or so with your jewels. Okay. I'll talk you through what we can't get through. So just to keep that one in place and then And then this is the fiddly bit, if there were to be a fiddly bit about it, because you're um, then going to be putting the, um, the wool on there. So what I did was I took a trusty credit card size and just wound it around, because that's about two inches or thereabouts. It's, it's close enough okay. to what you need, uh, five centimetres-ish, I'm on the centimetre size. Uh, so just wind it round and round and round, and then obviously you will cut down with a decent pair of sharp scissors like these are. Do you have a separate pair for your wool or your, your no. it fabric scissors? I use my fabric scissors. Yeah. Or when I was doing the pom-pom maker, I actually um, used a, the, a scalpel blade. But you have to be very careful if you're going to use that. You've got to, you've got to uh, be understanding how you wield your scalpel if you like. So I wanted to not loosen that off too much because I don't want them want it to go everywhere. You can get the on its own, by the way. It's only 169. 169. Absolutely. You can incorporate it into so many different projects. And Mariner's really lovely soft yarn as well. It's very it? nice to work with. So on the opposite, so that's your your front done. Um, on the opposite side, so this is the back, you want to glue so use your hot glue gun your fabric glue your 505 your whatever it is mm -hmm. to just keep it in place and you literally spread it out we've around. got a minute we've got with one of the mini glue guns and they're brilliant it is a hot glue though so just be, be cautious careful. especially if you're if you're doing this with children the hot glue gun it gets up to about 170 degrees like it is very very, hot. Yeah, it's very, very uh, hot but I must say they are great glue guns I absolutely couldn't with, with, without mine I love my glue gun um, you plug it into your mains it does come with a couple of refills as well but then we do also have the refill pack there's the glue gun and then the refill pack um, are these these are your mini refills um, you get 10 of these last do you remember my Easter bonnet Emma I made the most amazing Easter bonnet for the jewellery maker competition a couple of years ago it was very extravagant and um, I didn't win Carol won um, <laughs> Carol is quite competitive I, I literally just bought everything from the shop where they sell things to a pound and glued everything to this massive hat and it was literally out here it's amazing so you've got all of that around your circle I've actually been over generous <laughs> he, oh yeah he's got he's a, had a trim. mane <laughs> he could be in the hair bear bunch yeah. <laughs> and then you want this side uh, so your face facing the hair if you like now having glued it which I haven't but having glued it that will all stay in place yeah whilst you're um, trying to do the whole job because now what you want to do is you'll want that going around that side before you do anything else just make sure that you've got your zip open okay and then 
you're going to be leaving a gap for your lining because obviously we're turning through so and then <laughs> oh my god you're going for it <laughs> well <laughs> i don't quite know if this will work everyone but we we will <laughs> give it a twirl if it doesn't it's your fault <laughs> Oh, my word, it's all going to fall out. No, it's not, it's not. <laughs> well done. Um, just whilst you're going around that, let's go through the kits. Um, just to remind you, the kits are amazing value, just £12.99. The one that George is working with is the orange and red. So you get half a metre of your red fabric, half a metre of your orange. You also get your felt, um, you get your skeins, and you also have your mariner yarn. So all of that for twelve ninety nine is brilliant. We have a second colourway as well, which I'd love to see together with the orange mane as well. So you get the paprika half a metre, you get brunette half a metre, you get your felt, which you only need a tiny little bit for the nose. You also get your skeins, which you only need, again, a tiny bit. And you get this lovely burnt orange mariner yarn, which is gorgeous. Only £12.99. What an amazing value. What an amazing price. And it all comes from Debbie Shaw's Half Yard Kids book. Um, 20 different projects, loads to choose from in there. Even if you get the kits and you want to try something else, I mean, look, you could even do... We had a picture earlier on of the, the pillow pal, so you've got plenty of yarn in your kits. If you do want to try something else and use some bits from your stash. Um, lots of projects. There's the Roaring, the roaring Storing uh, pencil case that we were looking at. But lots of people have loved this book. We've had some lovely messages come through this hour about it. Just £9.99, and it's from our very own Debbie Shaw. £9.99, Ben. <laughs> How's he looking? <laughs> With lots of, with a little bit of trimming on the inside, so don't look inside, but you will you will want to kind of trim ah! it up. <laughs> ah! But there he is. He's all together in just a little he needs a little snipperage, I feel. But yeah. Oh he's so cute. No, I love him. I like his nice bushy mane. That's my fave. And it's done. I mean it is a really lovely quick project, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's we've got sorry. Sorry, Rebecca, you've got yarn on your yarn oh, no, name. There you place. go, perfect for yarn name. We're ready for it. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so, so much. That's we all right. love that. That was you. fun, wasn't it? Really fun. <laughs> and it's really lovely to be back with you. When are you Thank back? You. On? Uh, I'm back on the 20th. 20th? Yes. Um, and I've got. Oh, I can't really say, but I have got. You've got another pattern, another Beth. And Amazing. a bit of. Amazing. We've got another Beth pattern. I can't say. Yeah, it's always a surprise. Yeah. Um, thank you ever so much. <laughs> you're on so with much. John. You're back with John, so I'll oh, see you. Um, <laughs> yes. I should see, see you, you before. Yeah, oh, well, before let's hope before you. Uh, yes, yeah, that would be good. <laughs> All right, lovely, lovely to, to see you. you. <laughs> thank you, Jules, as Take always. Um, don't forget the H640, the glue guns, everything like that is all available on the website. Right, so. Today on Sewing Street has been amazing. Remember, the Yarn Lane show is about to be coming up. So don't forget, if you are watching on Facebook, start tuning over to Yarn Lane. If you're watching on the website, start tuning on to yarnlane.com. If you've bought anything from Sewing Street, you're automatically eligible for, um, of course, the same postage and packaging, one cost all day, $3.95 and it's the same account. And Yarn Lane today, they're giving away free pin badges. Um, I've got Rebecca Reed with me in, in the next hour, so please do make sure you tune over or stay with me on the TV. Tomorrow on Sewing Street, John Scott's here. Um, eight o'clock, he's got Clive. Oh, it's gonna be good fun. John and Clive together with the boys Parker coat coming up at eight o'clock. 9 o'clock, John's got pre-cuts. 10 o'clock, Jane Brogan's going to be here with Elna's sewing machines. Oh, is Clive only there for one hour tomorrow then? Uh, Jane's doing a double whammy. She's going to be here for a two-hour special with all things Elna. And then at 12 o'clock, you've got two days on the trot, Yarn Lane. Um, we're upping it to four days a week, which is really exciting. So you've got Yarn Lane tomorrow at 12 o'clock as well with John. Uh, now... Please do make sure you stick with us. Tune over, uh, tune, uh, tune over onto Facebook or onto the uh, the website, or of course stay where you are on the telly. Yarnlane.com is the website. Um, if you are leaving us, don't forget 
John Scott's going to be on Jorah Maker on our sister channel um, at one o'clock this afternoon. So we've all got to support him over there because I know he was nervous and it's not like him to be nervous. Not like John to be nervous. So we'll all be giving him our support. Um, stay where you are because Rebecca Reed is going to be joining me with Eco Knits, amazing award winning yarn coming up from Woolly Chic in just a couple of minutes. Do not go anywhere. Yarn Lane is coming up after this. <laughs> 